Dr. Owusu or Chalk. It's Dr. O for the 804. As the premier knee and hip shoulder sports surgeon, Virginia. I would like to remind you that health equals power. Sports build and uplift communities. Nothing else can. The mission of sports medicine is to keep athletes of all ages and levels at the top of their game. Dr. O is located at Ortho, Virginia, Schrader Road, office location. Appointments can be scheduled online at orthovirginia.com or by calling 804-939-6688. You can follow Dr. O on Instagram at Dr. O underscore for the 804 and uplifting educational content about sports health. Hi, everyone. I'm Coach Rick Stockel. I am co-owner of Newman and Dunn Real Estate here in Central Virginia, as well as I am a high school boys basketball coach at Monacan High School. I've sold over 1,300 homes here in Central Virginia, and I would love to work with you and your family in your home buying needs. Uh, I am a proud primary sponsor of Ballin in Virginia, and I hope you enjoy this show. Welcome to another episode of Ballin in VA. Hey, y'all. Y'all asked him. Y'all got him. I got my man Jonathan Hoggett in the house today with my man Jermaine Jelly Gregory. He going to help me narrate this thing because I told y'all I needed some help. And, you know, I'm one of these people that I'm a prideful person, so I don't like to kind of look bad. But I, the legend, man, I got to get a man, you know, he he – all of that. I don't even, I don't even really, really, really need to even say all of that, but I'm going to do it. What is going on, fellas? Chilling, fam. Chilling. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just giving the people what they want to see. Man. Yeah, giving them what they want to see. Yeah, I seen you had, you was over there with Rich at the Smoking Podcast. I was like, man. I said, like, when you going to have John? When you going to have John? I said, man, we working on it, man. Yes, it's sir. timing. It's timing. Yes, sir. Because we were talking about what? October, right? Yes, sir. We've been playing. Yeah, matter of fact, we go back to Mondo. <laughs> we've been, we've been watching. We've been. Yeah. Plotting on this yeah. for a long time. So don't long think time. we ain't been working. It's just time and time and time. And so I just thank y'all. But before we start, I want to make sure that y'all please like, subscribe, uh, comment. Y'all ain't doing it. And I'm telling y'all, if you don't comment, I'm going to shut it down. I'm threatening <laughs> to shut it down. I need y'all to comment. I need these likes up. I got a lot of views, but I don't have a lot of likes. So we need that, man. That's how we keep the lights on in here, man. We keep our sponsors happy and everything like that. So shout out to Rick Stockel. Shout out to Dr. O. So we just want y'all to make sure that in order to keep getting these people here, we need some people to engage and inter interact and let us know. Even if y'all say that y'all don't like it, just say something, you know. So we appreciate that. So, man, let's get into it. Let's get into it. What has been <clears throat> happening, John? Oh, uh, man, Training. <laughs> a lot of training, a lot of basketball. Yeah, I see you've been up there at um, Ben Wallace, man. We always bump into each other. Yes, sir. And, yes, sir. and man, you, you're doing a damn thing with that. So how's that coming? Oh, man, it's a blessing, man, to be able to get up and, you know, make your own hours and, uh, you know, help the youth and, and change your community, man. Just be a leader, be a, be a, be a you know, a, a spokesman to, to, the young, to the young youth. It's a great thing. And we got Jelly up in here, man. Look, <laughs> everybody gonna see this. They gonna say, "Man, Jelly, you, you, look, you know you're gonna drive this ship today." Yeah, man. yeah, yeah, yeah. So you might as well just, you know, go ahead and help me out no, with this just, thing, man. So what's going on with like, you, bro? Same old man, just chilling, just you know, working. I still get back to the youth. I still coach little league football at Glen Lee. Shout out Glen Lee. If you got any AU kids, you know, bring them over to us. Holler at us. But um, <laughs> man, a lot of people don't know me and John just. Man, we best friends, man, but we just don't talk every day like people expect us to. But, you know, I'm glad to see, you know, he doing what he really loves to do as far as pushing these kids and getting out there doing this training thing. So, mm -hmm. you know, I can support him when I can. And, <clears throat> you know, like I said, we don't talk every day, but when he called me, if I call him, it's like that, you know. So I'm just proud of what he's doing right now. And that's what's up, man. <clears throat> so, John, where did it all start for you, bro? I mean, you got you had to have some humble beginnings somewhere, man, and whether it was your brother's dad, somebody. Let us know because for me, this is going to be – I'm going to be kind of narrating and listening because I don't know. So, let's start it. Man, it started when uh, I seen Michael Eric Hoggett play basketball. Um, she, peace, he, Mike. Rest in peace to um, my brother Mike. My, that was my oldest brother. Uh mm -hmm. Uh, I get real choked up when I talk about okay, him. Man. You know Take what I'm saying? Time, that's bro. my that's my dog. Everybody know how I feel, how I rock with him. Um, he was the one that put the basketball in my hand. 
uh, gave me the little orange, little, little Fisher Price ball, and <laughs> I never put it down since to to today. Uh, man, I was probably like two, or three years old. He gave me that ball. I started dribbling. I never stopped, man. And um, I'm talking about this dude had like a a forty some inch vertical. Man, I'm talking about I got a picture of this man getting like this high on a jump shot. Like it's just. You know what I'm saying? Like he he just was a blessing in disguise to me, man. And mm -hmm. that's what really helped me jump start that career, man. It was Mike Hargett. I lied to you not all my brothers, but it was definitely Mike Hargett. See, I watched him. You know, yes, sir. I, I came out of no, Kennedy truth. in, in 93. Yeah. <laughs> and then the Reggie truth. Bassett, if y'all know Reggie Bassett, no. me and him was in Boy Scouts mm -hmm. together. ODU. So, yeah, so, you know, that's why I kind of watched that. So I, mm -hmm. I said, then when you was coming on a lot later than that, I was out the scene. Yes, sir. So all I just kept hearing is John, this, John, this. And then, and I just give you a little background to what I know, you played you with the National Christian. I don't know why I keep saying Bullets. But my my, my uh, family up in Alexandria, they went to West Potomac, and all of them mm -hmm. knew about you. Mm -hmm. And they kept saying, man, you know your man, John Hoggy. That's how they talk up there. I was like, I don't know him, but right. I heard about him. Right. But they big up there. Yes, they was sir. going to, like, Lee, yes, Lee District up there, to playing in the gym and stuff like that. So that's where I come yes, in. Sir. So, yes, yeah, sir. man. So y'all help me out, man. So let's go into So your brother put the ball in your hand and, like, just – what, what, took from off. There. Took off very since, man. You name it, man. I'm a basketball almanac. So he took you out to the playgrounds and stuff like uh, that. Had you playing against the older cats, roughing you up, or like? I'm gonna tell you where it started at, man. We had this cage called um, in Country Place. Still, it's still the apartment still going on to this day. It's uh, right up the street from Fairfield Middle School. Okay. Uh, right behind little shopping center, you'll see Country Place. And uh, they had a basketball <clears> court. It was called a cage. They only had a half a court, and so like. In that neighborhood back then, you can only hoop. Like, you can only get on that court if you can hoop. That's the only way you can play. So, mm -hmm. like, I was young, so I couldn't really get on the court because my brothers was already taking over the court. So they wouldn't let me play. They oh. would not let me play until so, I was ready. So you had to So you had to go practice, practice, I'm practice. I'm talking about I stayed on the Saturday <laughs> cage, mad as on the what, <laughs> until I got it right. Until I showed them I was ready. And so when you showed them you was ready, did you have to show them when you got on it? Or they knew before you no, they got knew, on the court? They knew before. They seen, okay. they seen how hard I was working. They, they they could tell that I was ready to play against grown men at probably like six years old. Oh, wow. You know what I'm saying? They was like, yo, young brother truth. You know okay. what I'm saying? They seen my dedication. They seen how hard I worked. You wow. know what I'm saying? That's why they... Like, they ain't, they ain't mind putting me out there. Like, they ain't mind saying, like, little bro gonna be the truth. They seen how hard I work. Okay. They so seen they, the so dedication. They, they pushed you. They might have beat them up, though, to make nah, them get there. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I just want to end in on that. Like, they, they make him the way he was. Okay. They definitely they want no did. In it. Okay. I took my lumps. I took a lot of lumps. I was hard-headed. You know, I thought I knew a lot. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I was spoiled. I was the, I was the baby. You know what okay. I'm saying? So I, I used to do a little stuff. I used to hit him and, and run her, and run right to mom. You know what I'm saying? And, <laughs> and she had you her, You know, I'm dead serious. But, yo, on the one-on-ones, when she had to go to work, mm -hmm. oh, that's when I caught the back end. Uh, caught the back end. And so, yeah, that's that's what made me tough, them back ends, for sure. Man, Jelly. <clears throat> yeah, come on, help me out, man. Fill it in, man. <laughs> man. When, 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 when did y'all meet? When did y'all two meet? Uh... Actually, I was in the the first time the first the first time <laughs> that I met him and um, seen him. I was in the eighth grade at Moody Middle School. He was in Fairfield. He was in the sixth grade, mm -hmm. and everybody kept talking about this kid, Jonathan Hogg. John. I'm like, mm, man, whatever. Yeah. So I'm like, yo, yep. we just let a sixth grader give us thirty. <laughs> I'm like, yo, hold on. I'm in the eighth grade. We're going to high school. This kid's in the sixth grade. And what school was this? I was at Moody Middle it was School. Moody. Mm -hmm. And yeah. you went to where? Fairfield. Fair he was at Fairfield. Fair Fair yep. Sixth His grade. sixth grade year. That was my best game of the season. <laughs> yeah. You gave people 30. Gave yeah, that 30 was, my, that was my best game of the season right Listen, there. I was like. I, it was like the last game of the season. So, you know, we went through the line. I, I didn't even shake his hand then. I was like, man, the little young dude, whatever. He got lucky. Right. You know. Until you're not. That was, kept, that was the first, that, that was the first that was time. Season, so right it was there. just like, all right. So, you know, we went on, went on. <clears throat> I ended up going to, I went to Henrico my first two years. Okay. So his freshman year coming from out of uh, Roth. He ended up going to Highland Springs. I left Henrico and ended up going to Highland Springs. Mm. So we was all out there at football practice. They was like, this John Doggett. Red Thompson. 
had both of us. Uh, big Red. In the summer. Big Red. Okay. Had both of us lifting weights at first. Shout out to Red, yeah, man. Big shout out to Red. Hey, I quit after two days. That's, I'm not lifting that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not lifting Two days. I'm not lifting that. Whatever. So, you know. Um, so don't be getting on these kids when you, you know. I, I, I'm not going to do that. No, oh, I'm not going to okay. do that. I just want to do that. Mondo, Mondo. You see, you hear this right, Mondo. You hear this. Just look, saying, look. Like, babe. Come on, man. My first time living, you trying to get me throw up 250, 265. I'm not doing that. Like, what are you talking about? But anyway, uh, uh, so, you know, um, season went on. Jonathan came. And then uh, we just got real tight, like, as far as from that little bonded, three, four day man. lift. It, it, we just bonded. bonded. Mm -hmm. We just was on the phone. We was talking. We was just like, yo, oh, you got to show tight. out this shit. Just every, I mean, we did everything that whole summer. Everything. I mean, everything. It was just like... It's my best friend. I like this. Who I'm hanging with, like, and this is what we did, and you know, it it just it just took flight from there. Like a lot of people don't know. A lot of people think I just know Jonathan just for basketball mm -hmm. or us just being cool. But people don't know. Like we was literally, and we still are. We literally best friends. Like we, we were just see. It and and it's funny. And I'm gonna tell y'all. We gonna get back to. It. I'm gonna tell y'all when when Jelly came in. Right one night, I think I was. I don't know what I was doing. I was watching TV or something. Matter of fact, uh, matter of fact, I was on live, mm -hmm. and you called me. I called you, yeah. Yeah, you hit me in the inbox. I was on live. You said fact, something about Jonathan, was, and I said, "Yo, you want to know about it was Jonathan?" Me and Keith Juan. Me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Me and Keith Juan was on live, and you was like, and you hit me up, and I said, "Let me call you back." And you was like, "Man, yo, if you ever do a Joan or Jonathan, you got to get me in there with you." And I was like, I said, "Damn, I'm sitting there because I had just asked Kennard." Could, you know, who would he know to can help me out? Because I was like, I really needed some help with that. And yeah. then Marcus said he would help me, Marcus yeah. Lewis. And he was like, no, Shout I got out you. Marcus. I yeah, know he can't be here tonight. But, yeah, we were know, supposed to I be wish you was here. Cause we, Definitely. I got some funny stories about you, too. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, so I was like, man, so I said, man, I really need the help on this thing. But, you know, with John, so I appreciate you being here with me, For man, because sure. sure. we got to get this. Sure. So. Let's. I, we'll just go ahead and fast forward past the middle school thing. And if anything else I need to know about middle school now, because nah. he, I, I went from, from Kennedy. I went to Chesterfield, so I don't really know much about yeah. the Henrico mm -hmm. side other than when mm -hmm. Bucknam came in and stuff like that. So, oh, but I will say this: he did try to jump dunk <laughs> six in middle school. Grade. Yeah, yeah, with his left hand. That moved. He definitely tried it. Oh, for sure. Sixth grade. I sixth like, grade. Wow. I was touching the rim. Seventh grade. I was dunking. Mm -hmm. Eighth grade. I was punching it. Yeah. So when did like the whole city kind of get behind you? Was it like in middle school when they heard? Because some people be having that middle school name going into high school. That was it. Or, okay, so you that had it, it going was, into high school. I made a kind of big name. Well, it wasn't uh, kind of. I made a name for myself. It was um, coming off two undefeated seasons in, at Rolf, mm -hmm. playing football, going undefeated with Mike Robinson. Okay, you know shout out to Me Mike. him going back and forth. He playing quarterback. You know what I'm saying? He broke his thumb. He had to move the tailback. I go to the uh, quarterback because of the snaps. He can't take the snaps because of his thumb. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I learned a lot, man. Just just playing with different athletes, you know what I'm saying? Playing football, basketball, switching back. Uh, going into uh, when uh, Coach Land gave me an opportunity as an eighth grader to play in the NBA Top 50 camp. Are you serious? You know what I'm saying? And <laughs> took a full, full advantage of it. Um, didn't really like know what to expect the first couple of days there it was it was at Princeton out in um, New Jersey. Okay. And so I go out there, I like, see all these different athletes from all over the world, and um, it's just I just didn't know what to expect. And then when I got got my feet wet and got got settled in, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? It come a playoff time, we didn't lose a game, and I wound up winning the championship as an eighth grader and um, winning the MVP of that of that of that camp. Okay. And, you know what I'm saying? It was. It was 12th graders there. It was 11th grade. It was, it was, it was NBA top 50. And any notable people that you know, uh, you know, <clears throat> like names and like to kind of put the names and stuff like that. Salik Brown. I remember him. Salik Brown went to UConn. UConn national mm -hmm. championship. Mm -hmm. uh, Tony Robinson also went to UConn. Mm -hmm. uh, those was the notable notable guys that I. Okay. Like, it, come on, but it was a bunch of people there. But those two guys was the guys that really I took notice to and played, um, played against. It was a lot of good, good, great talents there. Okay, yeah. But see <clears> that that you know that's what I like to just always ask those questions like that. So, so at that point, you knew you was going to Hollis Springs because of oh that. yeah, for sure. So I already knew it. Coach okay. Land, Coach Land, me and him was already like uh, 
like father, like son. Um, it was nothing stopping me from from playing up under a Springer jersey. Uh, I was gonna run through the wall, you know what I'm saying, to play for Coach Land. And before we go into it, what does he mean to you, Coach Land, as, <clears throat> as far as that man? And you know, because everybody has their own, you know, idea or whatever they have for him. But what does he mean to you personally? I know me and you talked about another coach, Coach Mike, the other day. Yeah. But what does Coach Land mean? To you? Mike Davis is my yeah. dog, man. But uh, you know, Mike Davis was there when I came out of prison. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that that's a different type of, you know what I'm saying, love and you know, it's a different type of time, you know what I'm saying, time mm -hmm. table in my life. Um but uh with with, with Coach Land it was it was since I was young mm -hmm. to I was able to put on the jersey. Mm -hmm. And so it's it was like a fatherly figure. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Someone that uh when I didn't know how to close to go to to school and I didn't feel comfortable in my own skin, he'll pull out the money out of his wallet. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. Like, he didn't have to do that. Mm -hmm. He'll come get me up out of, uh, you know what I'm saying? When I had a hard time, because I had sleep acne. Oh, so wow. So I couldn't, I couldn't get up out of the bed sometimes. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? He'll come wake me up, man. You know, he had a Jeep Wrangler back in the day. <laughs> you know, jump. Okay. And you know what I'm saying? He, he, he ain't mad no man. He, he ain't mad coming to Sandstone and, and, and getting me up. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And making sure I, I, I was up. So That's when you cool. got... So, so when you got there, and a lot of times with the players back then, you know, a lot of the head coaches, like, you know, I remember Coach Atkins had Tasha Stocks. That's my cousin. Shout out Tasha. Holler at me, man. Shout out to <laughs> man. And Natasha. Shout out to Gene. Natasha. And Tasha. He's going to bring you up, but now he did first. I, I, see, see, man. see I, hey, oh. look, we might get a, look, we might want to post, post some more man. on that cup, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. Look, look, look. Okay. All right. Tasha Stocks. <laughs> That's all I can say. <laughs> Can't do him a laugh. Is she the female version of him? Oh, for sure. Oh, for Hands sure. Okay. for sure. I watched her go on a 19 0 run against Highland Springs by herself, but we'll get back into that later. That's, yeah, that's, yeah, you know, like I said. That's, that's little me for sure. <laughs> yeah. That's little okay. me. I okay. That's my, okay, because when you said all of that, I just remember Coach always oh, talking, you know, you know, everybody mm -hmm. know how Coach Atkins, what she mean to me. You know, she she definitely helped me in the coaching aspect of the game, too. man. I, I love you. Yes, that's my lady. So yeah, so all shout out to daughters, all yeah, Kat, 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 all of them. Yeah, you know. Tracy, yeah. Chantel, of course. You know the goat. Yeah. Yep, the goat. <laughs> the goat. <laughs> the, the real goat, goat for real. <laughs> the goat. You know what I'm saying? You talk about putting up numbers. Y'all go to that Henrico gym. That's what y'all see in that for case. Sure. Yeah. For sure. You know, and she was I'm, a little different for her time. Yeah, she was. She yeah, she was be, different. Yeah, she she was dropping fifty to like this day, bro. Like, like, she, to this day, it ain't. It ain't even like the, like even though the Thomas Dale, they got the Savannah and them. It's yeah. just, she was she, yeah, see, see, doing see, it before. There you go. Wait a minute. Did you just put Savannah Ooh. and Nile in the same they, conversation with Chantel? They, yeah, yeah. He said he the almond. He's going to tell you that, why. That, yeah. tell, please, tell, please tell these people <laughs> why, because I'm going to sit <laughs> right here and keep my mouth shut. Matter of fact, I might have me a drink of water. Because yeah. they, they tough, man. I, I sit there and watch it. I know, I know you watched a lot of their games this year. And, um, mm -hmm. Like, like they, we couldn't get the ball up to half court. Like, like, that's tough. That's tough for a female athlete, for, that, for them to put that much pressure on a, a, a woman to bring the ball up, man. Like, I give them kudos all day. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? They work. They work. I can see. I can see how much they 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 put into their craft. Mm -hmm. Um, how much you know what I'm saying? She put into a jump shot. I, mm -hmm. She listens. You know what I'm saying? I seen her off the court. Talked to her off the court. You know what I'm saying? She's different. She's different. And Savannah's falling right right behind her. She's mm -hmm. right behind her. She's on her heels. Like you can tell who's who's the leader of it. But they, they got it. They definitely working. Okay, it's so I, I, I won't trip it. Mind me of Maurice. <laughs> okay. Mind me of me and Maurice, for sure. It, see, sure. and that's another one I was thinking about. Sure. I know he had surgery or something like that. I, I was even going to surprise you even trying to get him on here, too. Yeah, man, that would be you a know? blessing. I know, I know, man, you know, we living our lives, man. We, mm -hmm. We're getting old. We're getting older. You know what right. I'm saying? And, we, you know, we got, we got, we got miles to feed. You that's know what right. I'm so, man, you know, if his time was... You know what I'm saying? To take care of his kids, that's what it is. But I know he here always. Mm -hmm. I know he here always. You know what I'm saying? That's just like Jelly. That's just like Marcus. You know what I'm saying? It's just like the people that was here with me from the beginning. I already know where they at. And see, and, and, and but this <clears> is the <throat> thing that I wanted, man, because, you know, we got a lot of greats in this city. You know what I'm saying? And Shout out Lawrence, Lawrence Walton, too. Shout out Lawrence Walton. And I just saw him in uh, Kroger Saturday. Oh, big love. Yeah, I saw him in there, Saturday, right across the street. Yeah, we call and it I saw him in there, and I told him I was going to have you, and he was like, oh, my God. He said, man, I like what you're doing. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? So I, I, when I hear stuff like that, I don't really know how to take, you know, credit and stuff like nah, that man. because, for me, 
It's about y'all. It For ain't sure. about me. For sure. And the fact that you sitting here, you sitting here, and all the other people that came in here, man, I just thank y'all, and I, I just appreciate it because I just don't know that. But I just want people to hear what you have to say because when I was doing it on the Chitlin Circuit, I called the Chitlin Circuit on Zoom, <laughs> My man that was my partner, he said, man, we got to get Jonathan Hogg. I said, I don't know him personally. Right. Yeah. right. And I was just like, I said, but nobody was even watching us when we was doing it three years ago. Nobody. He said, man, I'm telling you, you get John Hogg, it's going to wake people up. And I was like, <laughs> he's some fast seven dude. So I was yeah. like, yeah, he never gave anybody 804 credit. Yeah. So he, so I know that I'm going to definitely dump this in that group so he can see it because he, he sure. definitely. Shout out you know, to him too, man. Yeah, he That's was love. like, no, man, you got to do that. But this Highland Springs thing, man, for, for Lancaster, like, I mean, for you, like, when did you become you and you in Highland Springs? Was it like ninth grade? Definitely. 10th grade? Definitely. Because like I say, because me, I won't around. And this was what, 90 what? In just 96, 97. 97. Okay. Yeah, definitely going to 97. Um, I was I was Highland Springs before, like, that. Like, man, I like, Jafonde team, J.J. Melvin Jones. Melvin Jones, Antoine that Nelson. That team. JoJo Chambers. That team right there. I used to get hazed by that team. Oh, oh do uh, people, people, <laughs> people don't know. People don't know the story. I was Holland Springs before Holland Springs. Can you, can you, can you tell these people? Well, let me ask you a question. Do you think that was one of the best teams that came through Highland Definitely. Springs? Because see, they keep them when I keep they they talk about the, you know these new generations. Definitely, they think because they want to chip. They, 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 they have think, no idea. They have no idea. They that have, team they right have there. No the idea. Competition was. They have no idea. Yeah. Yeah. Now nah, I don't take nothing from Rozelle right. or, we, they, or they were none great, of them. Yeah. But they or, won't. Or Andre, I love those kids. They, they, they know they were great. that's my the nephew. Was different. Right. Rozelle is my right. nephew. Andre is like my like Duff, that's like my Jamal dog. Jamal Fleming, like, all of them. All of love y'all. But that group right love there, y'all want that group. Like I definitely love them to death. But before then, before me, mm -hmm. JJ, <laughs> Twan Nelson, Melvin Jones. <laughs> Ed Perry, JoJo Chambers. Man, I feel like I missed Perry. Yo, man, go. Yeah, it, yeah. It, it's just deeper oh, yeah. than rap, man. Like you know, Mike and them, like it's yep, just deep, yep. man. Lawrence also, and them team. Yep. Like, also, a lot of people didn't know Coach Land to promote him even more after that top, you know, fifty NBA camp. Mm -hmm. You should let him put on a dribbling display at halftime of the game. Oh, for sure. Are you like, serious? Yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> no, Mike, Mike games. Yeah, it was halftime. Nobody, nobody could. Put, nobody put, like. <laughs> yeah, they were. If you if you know Coach Land back in the day. You will have a ball rack. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and the games will be dumb pack. I'm yeah. talking about stupid pack. Okay. And nobody will walk past that ball rack and touch a ball. Wow. If you know Coach Land, because you know Coach Land will come out the locker room and go ham on you. Okay. Yeah. okay. What are you doing? To, like, what? He was Bob Knight yeah. in high school. Mm -hmm. He was Bob oh, yeah, yeah. I never saw that side. He was what? Bob Knight <laughs> I never saw in that high side. school. But Coach Land, shout out. We love you, Coach Land. I never people saw People just him. don't know. You going? Yeah. You want to You want Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> but, but go ahead. Go he used ahead. to give him. He was like, yo, we, we going to watch the halftime show. Sure. What are you talking about? What's, man, they got a kid named Jonathan Hoggett out there dribbling the ball. Man, I'm not going to see that. That's when I, like. And the first time I seen it, I said, oh, how old I didn't mind, like, five, six years old. Yeah, okay. I, six, mind, I was, was going to say six, seven. I didn't mind playing in front yeah. of a crowd. Like, that's when it started. Like, I used to, like, I'm still, to this day, you know what I'm saying, shy. Like, you might see me now. Like, I might look down. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I might be, you know what I'm saying? That's just. You know that, that's saying? good to know because I'm kind of. See, I'm, I'm we'll get into that, too. You know what I'm saying? But. Once I get a feel for you and I know you, like I, I can talk all day. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I can talk all day. We so, got a lot of come. So like, like that's just what it was. Like I was, I was breaking out my shell, and, and that was my breaking out part. And the Richmonds, like Richmond, seen it. Like they seen, it. they they remember me to this day. Five, six year old, yo, dribbling that yeah. ball. They don't see me here. Like they don't see me West Virginia. They don't see none of that. Holland. They don't see nothing. They see me from five when I was five, six years old. Mm -hmm. Going hard on that court. Wow. Yeah. I was going. I mean, I'm talking. I used to sweat. I'm talking. I used to be sweat. I go back up to my mom. She in the bleachers. Yo, I be drenched. Like no, you probably won't even believe this, Lee. And I'm gonna tell you this, and then we get into that stuff. No, that's fine. Jonathan used to be nervous before every game. Before nervous game. for like playing for high school games. No, Just nervous. No, because I know I, I got a lot of. He, knew, I got he a, had a lot of weight on this. Got show. a lot of okay. weight. I got a lot of. I got a. I got a lot of points. So I got a. I got a score. I got a direct. I got a direct the offense. Um, I got. I got. You know what I'm saying. Coach Land is like my father figure. I got to. I got to pull through. I got to make sure we win. 
Mm-hmm. It was a lot of pressure. Okay. As a freshman. Um, yeah. But I handled it. I handled it. Like it was like you would never you would never see me, you me sweat. Know. You wouldn't see me sweat, but dog, I was sweating. Yeah. Like I know. I was pushing. I talked to him before again. I was pushing. But- Cause I was Talk scribing. To him before I was I went like from the gate. I wanted to go out of high school from mm-hmm. the gate. I knew what I was jumping. I was playing for. Like a lot of kids, I tell kids today, "What are you doing this for? What What are you trying? Who are you doing it for?" Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I knew what my, my purpose was. I was trying to go out of high school. I wanted to better my situation. Right. My so you was putting that pressure on yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then you also got, like he said, Coach Land is a father mm-hmm. figure. The whole school, the mm-hmm. county. It's Jonathan Hoggin. That's Hoggett. Tim Hoggin's brother. That's Mike. Right. That's a lot of pressure to wear at one time. Because you're already playing with the pressure for yourself. Mm-hmm. But then you got your mom. You got to play for her. I'm going to put it out play there. For your I'm going to tell you the real story. Man. No, Tim, no, this, Tim, this is, this is, this is why, why we here. Tim was the man. Hey, Tim yeah. Hoggin was yeah. the man. That, that's like, who if you, I saw. If you want to be honest, man, like that's Tim who I had saw. the ladies, Tim had the game. <laughs> Tim had it. it just, if he went to class, I promise you, you would have seen, <laughs> more, you would have seen the more dominant of Tim. But Can I that tell you that one-on-one story? For sure. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. No, no, no. No, no, no. Because I know you got some stories about me and Tim, bro. no. No, but, but no, hey, man, y'all, I, man. I'm sitting here for the con. You know, I'm just here for the, the story. Tim, like everybody know, man. Tim Hogg was Lamar Taylor. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Them two was they was it. They was it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And they loved to battle. They loved to play against each other. They loved to the camaraderie. Right. They loved what came with it. They knew they was the two top dogs of the city. Shout out to Lamar. You know what I'm saying? They knew it. You know what I'm saying? And just when Tim didn't like do his grades, when he didn't hit his books, like mm-hmm. it, it hurt the team. It hurt the team. Because he always had to play the second semester of it. Yeah, like it, yeah he did. Yeah, yep, he, he, yep, like, he sure did. The time, they weren't even going to make it. They weren't even going to make it. That man hit, like, they won like 13 straight games. Like, that's crazy in the district. You know wow. what I'm saying? It's just in the district. At the that real time. old district, not this. At that time. That the capital district, this, this, right. The, no, not this little 1A, one 2A. Eight, eight. I don't know what this. I want to bring, man, bring it back to where. Like, City play the county, county play the city. Yeah, I don't like, know what's going I think on you had, I think you had uh, Keith Twan, uh, Sean Pettiford, and Kanar, and all those other. And I felt what Sean said. Man, like he said, how do you make the playoffs with four games? Right. Because right. you win a district game. Like, man, bring it back. Knock the ash down. Let's build a new Arthur Ash. I, I, I like those days. Me too. I like the crowd being, you know, wall to wall, tight to tight, right foot there. to foot, you know, but – but like it's I say, easy. the reason I say Tim was like the GOAT is because like because like the, the, the caliber of players I seen him play against, you know, like Kobe Bryant. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like wow. played with Bo Jones. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Bo. You know what I'm saying? Like Rest in peace, I Kobe. Go on and on, man. Um um dude from LSU, man. I can't think of his name. Talking Chris one. Jackson? Not him. No, not, not, Chris. not Chris Jackson. Oh, I, I know who you're talking about because me and Les, Tim talking Leslie about Earl, something like that. Some, some oh, Earl. You, oh, oh, oh. He was oh. an All-American, though. He was yeah, tough, yeah, tough, yeah, tough yeah, 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 yeah. He went yeah. to Kansas. He wind, wind up going to Yeah, Kansas. yeah, he went to Kansas. Yep, I know you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. Oh, man, he man, that's tough. a throwback. He was yeah. tough. He went to LSU, Kansas, something like that, and he was tough, man. Like, it Tim played against so many Colin Deshawn, um, Moodle Lee. Yep. Uh that Douglas that Freeman. that Douglas Freeman squad. Yeah, you know it was tough. They was tough. Um, Colin was seven foot But yeah, Jay Bird now. Jay Bird yeah. played against yeah. Jay Bird, played against Kanar. You know, it's like I seen it. Like the, the, the Ray Monts. Oh man, that's another one. Tim Pops played against Ray, Ray Mont. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just the caliber of players that Tim can say he played against. Mm-hmm. Ronald Carey. That's another one. Jason Cable. That's another one. <laughs> Jeff Cape. Tim played against both of them. Mm. Tim can keep on. Tim, Tim resume of caliber players that he, I just wish he would have learned from them. Mm-hmm. Like how I learned watching AI play, and, you know what I'm saying, and watch. I wish Tim would have been that type of student of the game because mm. he would have been in the NBA. Wow. And you saying this about your brother? No, that's, that's why I learned. Right, it. right. That's why I learned. When they like, crowned I, I him, it. right? That's <laughs> that, right. And that's what I try to tell you. He he'll tell you they crowned him as the one, but he'll go always give it to Tim. To him, right? Sure. Always. See, that, that's who I see. Sure. But I'm telling you, but sure. I I, mean, I can tell you like when I talked to you on the phone, no I told you I, I said no he'll tell you Tim was Tim is the best hogging. That's what he oh, for tell. sure. Mike is the best shooter. Mm-hmm. Tim is the best all around basketball player. And Sam John, is the best and athlete. Sam, Sam right. is the best athlete. He's going to always say that. 
He could always tell you. This is what you know. we had CT on with Keechwan, the, the episode, the John Marsh episode. And CT described Tim and you like this. He said, if you want somebody to be the team, it will be you. If you want somebody to run the team, it'd be Tim. It'd be Tim. For sure. So that For that sure. was okay. That's it. Okay. Shout that's out to it. CT. Yeah. That's and it. that and that's how he broke that down. Tim was a general, man. Mm-hmm. Like he could give you what you want. If you wanted defense, if you needed free throws, if you, that's just where I learned the game. Mm-hmm. I said that. The damn defense. Fucking with Tim, I had to. Fucking with Tim, yeah. yeah. At some point, I had to break down and play some. (laughs) Tim won't gonna allow me not to. No, you know, you go out Mount Zion, man. You got Marquise Daniels out there yelling at you, dog. Get back, get back on D, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like you gotta play some D. And see, you know, and and see, that's why I said that this story. Like I said, that's why I said I sit back and I just take bits and pieces and I write stuff now. So I just didn't that, have to play no D. The guys were solid. They were solid. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I didn't okay, see so you come down. Right he come down and hit three threes. They don't want to go at me no more. <laughs> yeah. They go past so they, that. So they done moment. after that. They yeah, they, that bitch. They, but you know, like I ain't got to play no D. Like I told you, like man, I kind of watched Jonathan's tenth grade year. Tim <clears throat> make him become an animal more than what he was. Oh, for sure. This, this is what I. This is why I say that for. What I'm about to say, okay. they was playing one on one at uh, we was we was in Wellington place, the YMCA. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tim had just came home from college, you know. Jonathan getting all this praise and this that third. So Tim like, yo, so let's go to the court. They in the house <laughs> arguing, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm like, hey, we going to the court. They like, he let's let's play one on one. I think the game was going to seven or eleven. But I've never seen nobody beat Jonathan up like that. Literally, I'm talking about on a basketball court. Uh, in a game or anything, Tim put something in Jonathan that I never knew that Jonathan had himself, and I don't think Jonathan knew yet. But he made him start playing more defense and more. He said, "You think you want to go to the league? You think you want to go to college? And you don't want to play?" That's the first time I seen two brothers bump head, yeah. but I knew why he was making them bump head because he was pushing them to be that great. Why they put the crown on his head? That, mm-hmm. Man, that was like the best one-on-one basketball game. Secret story. I don't have no footage on it, but that's the best basketball that was always game. Like yeah, that, that was the one basketball game I said. It was always that. like that with our brothers. Like, yeah. it don't matter if it was Sam or Mike. It don't matter if it was if it was Tim and Sam. It don't matter if it was mm-hmm. Bruce and Mike. Yeah, that, that, what's the one Leaper was talking about? Was it Bruce? Bruce, yeah. Leaper Bruce. was talking about yeah. Bruce. Bruce. Shout out to Leaper, man. Yeah. Bruce was the most educated one out of all of us. All of us. Okay. Like, he, went, he went to uh, to the Navy, um, came back. Always did right. Okay. All, I mean, always did right. Um, until you know, he you know, you know, he, he had his he had his little ups and downs. You know what I'm saying? And um, you know that that that's just when you know when you go left, man. Like that's what I try to tell kids all day. It's kind of hard to get back and go right. Mm-hmm. It's kind of hard. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of hard. So, but as far as his mindset, there's nobody like nobody out of the hoggers that was smarter than him. Okay. Like, like like intellectual, like can hold a conversation, can can talk to anybody, you know what I'm saying? And was just dearest. You know what I'm saying? He was the most purest heart out of all of us. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like I and I and I give him that. Shout out Bruce. And I give him that. Like you if you talk to him now, if you talk to him now, if you I mean, he doing a little he not a little, he doing a bit right now. But mm-hmm. uh like even though right now if you was to talk to him, if he was a if you was to hear his voice right now, you wouldn't even know this man doing that much time. Wow. You know what I'm saying? That man would be talking like he on the beach. Wow. Exactly, man. So that's what I'm trying to say. Like, I don't even know. That's somebody I don't talk to every day, but he's always with me. Okay. Always, because I know where he at with it. So how did all of that affect you, <clears throat> man? Because, like I said, you know, and, and I'm glad that you opened it up, man, because sure. I, it, it could be a therapy session. Because nah, that's exactly what it is. You, read, you know what sure. I'm saying? Right, but everybody. what your brothers meant to you in order to kind of, why you did the things that you did. For sure. Because you had all your brothers, and by you being the baby, you seeing bits and pieces. Me, I'm the only child, so I didn't have any brothers and sisters up on my father's side. Right. So, and I didn't get to know them until I was an adult. But like you said, you got all of this interaction all the time, and... I'm just like, you just bits, pieces here and stuff. And now to hear you say that your, this brother meant this, this brother meant this, it's like, that's that's deep, bro. It's going to forever be that's like deep. that. And they, like, they paved the way. They worked hard. They, like, they, they took a lot of 
lumps, you know what I'm saying, and L's and W's for me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So and you can just so kind of just, so run through just, it. You know what I'm saying? Like, Tim flunking off helped me go to prep school. Okay. So, like, like their scenarios helped me and my mom make better decisions. And see, that's what I wanted to ask you. Coach Land meant so much to you, but it hurt leaving him. T- t- hurt. There you go. It so hurt. you, you are. Uh, right, I was like, if he meant this much to you, why did you leave to go uh, to I Mount mean, Zion? We can go into that because because it was bigger than myself and Coach Land, mm-hmm. and I didn't see it at the time. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want to leave my best friend. You know, I didn't want to leave Holland Springs where I had a bunch of friends where they had made me. I'm gonna be honest. Holland Springs made me. Mm. I'm gonna be honest. The the publicity I got from the like going almost undefeated in the regular season. Um, I think we was what USA this, today. Yeah, we all we, we think we had cracked that jump. We had so, cracked that jump. We had hit 24, 25 or something. So what year was this? Ninety seven. Ninety seven. We was undefeated. And like, you came out ninety eight. No, nah, I was in, in 97. 97. 97. You was class in 97. Mm-hmm. So. No, nah, what was it? No, 97 was a freshman. Was, the rest was, was a freshman. So it was class 2000. You were class 2000. Yeah. Okay, that's right. That's why you and Stocks came out at the same time. Yeah. Right. So, <clears throat> what, so did my Zion come after you or you just looked at another opportunity? Well, you know, I already knew where we was going. I already knew I was flunking off. Okay. And so. The alternative was Oak Hill. Mm. I was going to Oak Hill. Um, couldn't get the money though. You know okay. Because because at first I was gonna go during the season, so that's kind of they they coming off an undefeated season. Right. Shout out Steve Smith Blue. Because he wow. definitely he definitely was he he accepted me, but then he was like, "Yo, um, it wouldn't be fair. Can you at least pay five thousand mm. dollars?" And so I'm like. <sighs> I look back on hindsight, like man, I wish would have came up with five yeah, grand, that, cause that. man, like man, <laughs> like man, like the the wow. squad. Cliff Hawk, my dog, Cliff Hawkins is yep. there. I've been playing AU against yep. him all Billy, year. Big Cliff, um, um, Billy, no, nah, Billy won't there. Billy came with um, with, 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 with he played with uh, what's the name and um, uh, Carmelo, but uh, what's the name was there? It was Steve Blake. It was uh, Maryland. Wow, dude, I just named. Caruth uh, Sh- played on that team. Went to Kentucky. Caruth ain't come yet. Not, no. not yet. No, he not got yet. there when you went to national. Yep. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. My yeah. senior year, because that's when we played yeah, against. We played there. I was at. The <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was Steve Blake, Cliff Hawkins, mm-hmm. Ron Slay, mm-hmm. Travis Watson, mm-hmm. my dude uh, Irene. I ran the trainer dude, I ran, I okay. ran, I ran, I ran, I don't know, but I, I heard ran, of it. I ran, dude, he trained NBA cats now. Like, okay. They had a slew of, like, they was nice. They, they, the first time without, they played Mount Zion, they played, played Mount Zion without me. Out to Mingas, California. They got, oh. they, Mount Zion got beat by 30. So we, we play them again out Beckley. That same season, that's when I came. That's when you had 46? Nah, I ain't had 46, but we, we lost to the team that didn't lose a game in two years by four. Okay. Mm. And so that's when I knew, you know what I'm saying, really who I really, I kind of write. Like, and prep and prep is different from high school. It's, it's very, every night you got, you playing against an NBA caliber. Give us a, yeah, give us a, give us a little bit of so like, these kids that don't know. So like, uh, one night we might be playing Newport Prep and Jamie Brewer, dude went to Indiana Pacers. People don't even know about him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't even remember that name. So dude, dude was just tough. He wind up playing for Auburn. Um, that's who Marquise wind up following right behind him and going to the league. Mm-hmm. But dude was a blur. He used to put up 40 in in Maryland in the Maryland area. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It was just it was just like dudes like that. In the prep school, and then you might flip flop, and you might play against a dude from New York. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Then you might. It's just every night, every night. You you. It's either you got to bring it or you gonna get knocked off. And you ain't getting that work at Hollow Springs. Like not that. not like not, not like, like that. that. Not like that. Right. Not like that. It was tough around here in the 90s. But it was not to that point. It was definitely tough, but not like that. Okay. Not like that. Not on a national scale where you gotta. You gotta definitely, you know what I'm saying. You gotta either, you either gotta eat or get ate. Holland Springs, you know what I'm saying. One or two, three games, 
don't define your season. Mm -mm. One game in prep school define your whole your whole year. Wow. Wow. Do you think, like as you see now, a lot of these high schools doing showcases. If you had to stay at Hollis Springs, do you think that maybe somebody would maybe they would have maybe played some more national recognized oh, teams? Oh no, for sure. Oh no, for sure. Um, we definitely would have been like playing against some of the greats like mm -hmm. nationally. Right. That's that's the part of the thing that I hate okay. that I couldn't I couldn't bring that school to where it should have been. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. I had to leave to go and do things to be greater. To be greater, right. But right. I wanted, and in and, and, and hindsight, in my, in, my, in my eyes, in my, in my heart, Harlem Springs is always with me. Okay. You know what I'm okay. saying? Like, I always stayed in contact with people that was always with me, like, psh, always. But uh, I wish I would have took them to the greater heights. You know, and I did, I did. And I mean, nationally, like, people always would know about Harlem Springs. Mm -hmm. Nationally. Like, just... Before me and after me, the people that played it. You know what I'm saying? So I, I did a great job, I think. You mentioned Mo Carter. <clears throat> Mo Carter came out what year? Same year as me. Same year as you. Yes, sir, 2000. And didn't Mo Carter leave too? Yeah, he left. He left. He and seen it. He seen it too. Okay. He seen it. Mo Carter went up there too. He went up uh, DeMatha. He DeMatha, went up. that's right. Yeah, he went with Morgan. Morgan Wooten. Well, Morgan Wooten, right. Man, did y'all know what y'all did to Hollis, Hollis Priest? Yeah, man. Jesus. Yeah, man. We left. We left. We left Coach Land with a with a with a with a, with a whole lot of shoes to fill. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like then John Waller left. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I he, remember him. He graduated. Like you know what I'm saying? You had to fill them shoes. It was just this man put up sixty. He put yeah, up sixty. Sixty three. <laughs> oh, okay, there, there you go. Give him three more points. Yeah. Shout out to John Waller. Yeah. Shout That's out to Mo Carter. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Bruh, Bruh, just like, it was like we we breed athletes, and that's what people don't feel to realize. That's that East they that beast in. They fail to realize <laughs> that we just breed it. We got, we got athletes every year coming out. Football, basketball, baseball. Like, you Track, know, yeah. You never know, man. You just never know. And it's, old, it's right across the street, too, Verona, too. Mm -hmm. Shout out That's to why I, I love it. I love it. I love it, man. Because like now, the platform and dreams is so easy. I ain't gonna say it's easy to achieve. You work your butt off and you go get it. Mm -hmm. It's there. It's there now. Like when, like when Jafon Day was coming up. Man, People forgot he they, he led the nation in in, like, in three point like, percentage like, like, and in scoring. Right, in scoring. Yep. And like it. Like and then he didn't get a look. So you gotta understand. Yeah, he like, went to Hampton. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta understand the sacrifices people didn't put in, man, for for it to be like for it to be the way it is right yeah, now, right? Sure. And this is why sure. we want to do this platform because a lot of these younger kids don't know nah. about this. Nah. They don't know. They think, well, you know, they can come here. Well, I want a state championship around here. I'm like, the road is a little bit easier now. That well, let me say, a lot easier now than versus back in the day. And think about but, it, man. You got Kanar coaching now. Right. Yeah. Shout out. You Kyle, got yeah. you got Mo Carter coaching that. Mm -hmm. Boom coaching. You got myself coaching. Mm -hmm. I'm doing training. Mm -hmm. You know, like it's just great basketball just all over the city. You got Coach Rudy. You got Luke Mar Jabo. Mm -hmm. Jabo. You know what I'm saying? You just got so many. You got so you many got great. You got you got school. <laughs> but see, the thing I always think about, like when you left first, like you said, well, man, you had the conversation for you left, and then. Reese left. Like, y'all two was the first two that started kind of like a trend. Well, people was doing it, but their names wasn't as big. Right, so now right. it's like Jonathan Hoggins' son scored 15 a day, and let's go get him to recruit. Mm -hmm. And let's bring him over here. And then they get lost. Well, you know, the sometimes trip thing. you don't have to do that. Yeah, the trip thing about it is sometimes when you move, you don't be successful. It, yeah, that's the hard thing. Right, about it. Like, right. It's, Grass it's ain't hard. always right. green. It ain't always it's, green. It's, 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 hard. Green. it's hard to be successful always moving. So I was able to move a lot of times in high school, three, four times, and I was always successful. And that's hard, and that's very hard. And I don't, and I, I don't push that for nobody else, but that's just what I had to do. That was just do. your path. Yeah, that was my that was yeah. my path. Right. That's what I had to do to do, to get to where I had to go. Yeah. You know I mean, what I'm saying? I was there for every game. I don't so recommend. I don't recommend that. You know what I'm saying? That's a tough road. You know what I'm saying? But it, it, like, if that's what you got to do, yo, you got to do what you got to do. 
And so Mount Zion, you was there what, one year? Uh, two years, two, two years. and a half years. Two and a half years. Yep. And you would say that your experience is that you just said it was successful there? Definitely. Okay. Definitely. And so when you left there, you went where? Uh, National Christian? National, well, Emmanuel. Emmanuel folded. Okay. We was, we was ranked number one. We had took um, Oak Hill's spot. Cause, and where's Emmanuel? Uh, Emmanuel was in North Carolina. We had okay. just built a school. We had built a school. Coach Hopkins, um, he had built a school. He had, he wound up leaving the school and going to coach at Shaw. So the assistant coach, Mike White, wound up taking over. Okay. And so when Mike White was taking over, Hop called Tracy McGrady because that's where the money was coming mm. from. And he lead Tracy a, a, a message or something and something. Uh, his mom hit Tracy's mom hit a message or something. Uh, it's something crazy. And he forget to hang the phone up or something. You know what I'm saying? Hop. And he's saying something reckless. And so Tracy like, I ain't sending no more money. So Emmanuel folded. Wow. Rank number one in the country. And that's the first time I heard this story because I ain't never yeah. I ain't heard it that. USA Today ranked number one in the country. Man, where I pull the clippings up, I, I know I still got them. You know what I'm saying? And, and like, that just goes to show the type of talent that Hot Boy is able to get and coach. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But we never could get it off the ground. And um, I wound up having to go to National Christian, and that's when I had to finish up there. Okay. Learned a lot. I learned a lot at National Christian, man. I learned a lot. I learned a lot about preparing myself for college, discipline, um, not waiting to the last minute to finish, you know what I'm saying, what you yeah. have to do to finish out. You know what I'm saying? And I, I, I get on her a, a lot about that. Mm -hmm. um, it's just because I don't want her to fall in the same pattern I did with academics. Right. It's, it's, it's just hard. It's hard to get out of a hole once you, you know what I'm saying, once you create it. Mm -hmm. And so, I, like, not just her, all the kids. I try to tell them, no, no, like, know that grades is going to come first before basketball. Because Absolutely. if you don't have that, you can't play basketball. That's right. So, you know, sometimes I always say, you know, I think people always say that you definitely need the grades first of all. Let's just say first that. And foremost. But sometimes when that talent is just that superior. Oh, Definitely. Definitely. The stringer is a little bit longer than, than most. We know right? the game. Well, yeah, I mean, we know that, we, right. We, we know the game. But, right. You know, give a little but, more. But we, want, but we want to encourage, you know, you yeah. getting them grades first, yeah. you know. We're not saying that it don't happen, but it, it, it does. Yeah. Um, so you get the National Christian, man. Who's some of the competition you playing against up there? I mean, you know that DMV talent is always different. Can I, oh, this a, is where I know you want to go. I'm going to say one name, <laughs> and I, I'm going to let Jelly say that name. I'm going to let Jelly say that name. But I'm going to say, say one name that need to be said because a lot of people forget about mental health. You know what I'm saying? But Delonte was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he was playing for Eleanor Roosevelt then? Yeah, but um, I ain't see him in high school. I seen him in AAU. Okay. You know what, I'm saying? what was he playing with? Did you recall? It was a Merlin team. Merlin team. Was they Merlin got some team. team. It was definitely a Merlin team. Okay. They was tough. We played them in the auxiliary gym up in uh, 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 at University of Maryland. It was, <laughs> it was a great one. Mm. It was a good game. Mm. Right, shout out to Delonte, man. Show. I hope he For show. definitely get hope, help. Hope he break, shout man. out. Hope he I, see, I seen him play at. Uh, when he was with St. Joe's, I seen him play ODU. Mm -hmm. yes, um, ODU, mm -hmm. man. I ain't never I mean, you call me. Yeah, I call you. I think I said, man, I got a left hand kid. Yo, he tough. Mm -hmm. He just started laughing. He said, "I played it." Him and Jamil Nelson. Him and Jamil Nelson. Jamil Nelson pulled up from. I just started logo laughing. And just threw his hands. Because Delonte like, wow. got player of the year over me uh, yeah. my senior year, and uh, I, I mean, I kudos to him. He he deserved it. But the only reason he got it because I was injured. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I had to sit out like twelve games. You know, thirteen because I was so, bad. Yeah, I was bad. Something like that. Okay, yeah. But uh, I, I can't tell you about the first three games of that year. <laughs> okay, well, let me listen. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I'm going to say the name. Go ahead, tell them about that I'm name. A, you, so you want me to tell you about the we, National we, Christian? We, we want to hear so it. People want to hear it. All right, we so, want to hear it. That's why you. I, do y'all know Levi Watkins went to NC State? This was on one team. Uh, Tony Bethel went to Georgetown. Drew Hall went to Georgetown. Okay. So we ride all the way up to Maryland. He like, yo, we play Montrose tonight. I'm like, Harvey Thomas. Mm. Yeah. Oh yeah, Harvey Thomas. Shout out, hey, my dog. He like, yo, they. 
Somebody else, matter of fact, Coach Brown, Gene Brown, I talked to him Sunday night, uh -huh. and he said, Harvey Thomas. And I'm thinking, I don't know why I said somebody else, and he was like, that's who you need to talk about Listen. on the show. He just said this Sunday night. Listen, man. And I told him, I said, I don't remember him. <laughs> you better go check it. That what he told me. That's exactly what he told me. Check. Crazy. Boy, yeah. life is hey, crazy, look, man. Hey, look, imagine, imagine this. Me, Jerry Jack, Harvey Thomas, Amara Stoudemire, Tyrone Siley. Yeah, that's all you can do. Just imagine, no, just imagine no, no, no. that five coming at you. And they coming. But y'all was on the same team? Yeah. That was like Mount Zion <laughs> squad. That was it. Jesus. That's the team that should have been in the national championship. We lost that one game. Our coach didn't show up. Our coach didn't, Hopkins didn't show up. We had a 16-point lead in the fourth quarter to a team that ain't lost a game in two years. And that's funny because people always do that, right? People don't understand. You lose one game in no type of situations like that. Yeah, we was up 16, and I missed the layup. Starting missed the putback, and that's the season. Mm. We finished we finish 11th. But that go, that goes to show you how the competition was. You lose different. one, you done. You was different. Right. Now, now you can win a national right. championship after losing four or five games. Right, yeah. That, ain't that crazy? So it's just like that goes to show you how different the way the game still, has changed. It's still, still to the day. Like, you see what happened with John Marshall. Yeah. Like, even when they was well, when undefeated. Big boy enough, yeah. Right. They, it was undefeated and then ranked number one and got snatched. Yeah. Yep. yep. Just because sure of that. the caliber of talent. You know and what I, 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 and, and me personally, shout out John Marshall, Lil Red, uh, Rex, Bird. Mm -hmm. Ty Wyatt. I think if I think if the uh, the kid wouldn't know, you know, went to go play. We already I know. Think the they USA Today, John. You know USA. Oh yeah, that, that's what I, 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 I say. At least ten. I'm just. We already saying. know. We already know they. No, they, we they know, people. The only ones that are gonna say otherwise, the ones that's hating. Let's just. Yeah. So what it is. I'm so, proud of what Ty doing. Yeah, I'm doing. I mean, I Me am too. too. I mean, because he he's putting on for the city, and the kids are putting on. So and it's putting our city back on the map, but um. The, the 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 city the city of Northside deserved exactly that. yeah man because city basketball I'm gonna be honest real, with city you, basketball bro. used to I'm run a, like I'm gonna be honest I'm a big right. fan of two two right shout you out to two two man I'm a big fan of two two right and that's a, that's one of the best that to come out there right boy now. I'm gonna be honest let's just he go ahead shut it down he a dog two two because he a dog man he a dog you know what I'm saying and you know his daddy showed me a lot. Shout out to Big Ray. Big Show Ray Ray. Like, one of the, like, if I was ever to do what you're doing, Lee, that'd be the first dude I bring on. And look, yeah. I've been, big, look, and, and y'all have to excuse me. I was supposed to have Ray in September. No, for sure. And then we were supposed to have him in March, and then I couldn't talk. For sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was him and Smiley. So, like. Yeah, we, yeah them we, two. Them two. Yeah, them two. They, them him two. and Smiley supposed to be yeah, in March you know, and I messed it up. They, they that's wanted freaking friends. Oh, yeah. So we, we, we. We we gonna get him back in here just to schedule. Right. I think Smiley just is right. is he moving around. All three so. of them need to be right there. That'd be a sight to see. Yeah, all three of them. That be trust me, man. Yeah, it'll happen for the. For but the, the north, the north deserve that, man. Like them people, them three, them three cats right there, man, deserve great basketball to be played around them and in that gym, man. Man, they they like Ty doing it. Ty is doing a great job, man. Like I, I promise you, man. Like John Marshall basketball deserve everything. What's going on right now? It's been going on for for years, uh, from 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 uh, threes putting it down, from mm. uh, from him putting in countless hours with the community, and mm. um, you know, just man, it's just it deserve it's deserving that basketball in Richmond is where it's at right now. I, I think we like number two, like behind North Carolina. Like I'm dead serious, man. right? I'm honest. Well, I do know I'm, we run the state in football. I mean, oh no, nah, we already know that yeah. football, man. It's, we just it's, we, we, we up there. We up there with the we up there with the Florida, yeah. And Texas. Yeah, yeah. We, we we we, we, we get a chance we to do that when Holland Springs go down there and play them boys. Oh, I be down there. Shout out, well, Coach Johnson. You know, you know, Coach Snoop Johnson. Snoop know about us. You know, you know, yeah. everybody know about us. See, I went to play. Athletes. I actually went and played in the Snoop California League. See, you know what I'm saying? So wow. We fought, we lost in the semifinals, but hey, I did knock off Snoop team. The first game, Snoop, I told you we was gonna beat y'all. <laughs> hey, Snoop, look, I hope you see this. Snoop, Balling I hope the you see it. We I, hope you see hey, this. Look, I told you at that roundabout get together that night, so we would knock y'all off tomorrow. We so we did, you know, we we did beat him, but we lost, you know, in the semifinal. Shout out to the uh 
but they was UCLA Bruins. Yeah. Tough, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Tough. He always, got, tough he always got a nice little they mob. Tough. He, he had a mob. I ain't going to lie. You know, we went to like overtime. his son was playing one, one time. Mm -hmm. And then, like, you know, like you were saying, the story that you really want. Like, I, I gave those guys names. I ain't forget it. So, I'm sitting, <clears throat> oh, to the National Christian Montrose game, if y'all want to know what I'm talking about. I'm sitting courtside, half court. You know, I always sit right there. My dog playing. I, I need to talk to him. <laughs> I need to say something. To I, I, hear him, I put hear the fire. Him. He can hit me. Game. He can hit me. I never forget that off the opening tip. It came down. He on D. Drew Drew Hall hits him with a hands up. He jumps. <laughs> he goes behind me and lay the ball up. His daddy is sitting two rows behind me. I had no idea this was uh, Drew Hall dad. I don't know who this dude is. He ain't nothing. He on the front of the Slam magazine. He ain't nothing. Oh, I turns around and said, Oh, really? This what we doing? Hmm. That, that, hold on. That, I, I turn. I said, You sure you want to do that? Jonathan comes down, misses the next shot. Never forget it. Drew Hall comes back down, goes to the basket, get fouled. So now he done hit a shot on John and gets fouled. He hits one free throw. Dude, daddy said, I told you he ain't nothing. John gets the ball and turns and looks and said. I'm going to take your son for 50. <laughs> Yo, bro, play basketball. First game back off First the game back off the injury. He tells and he catches the ball, literally. And you tell the main daddy that. Turns and say, I'm going to take your son for 50. Because he can hear him. Because I mean, he's I'm sitting always, right behind me. I'm always dragging him. I always drag him. He told me. Always like, he, he told him. He said, Drew's I'm going to take your son though. for 50. <laughs> I'm dog. like, okay. That's I'm my like, dog. Okay. Beffalo, Beffalo was the one I yeah, had to wear. Yeah, yeah, Beffalo. But Drew, yeah. I always drag Drew. I was, <laughs> always. Shout out, Drew. I hope you see it. Because you remember this. Because you, you know, laughing, too. You know. He told me, his, dad, his daddy, take you for, I'm going to take your son for 50. Gang it on. So when he said it, Johnny come down. Two dribbles, pull up, hit the three. Ah, he warming up. <laughs> you know, coming down that game and transition, they back and forth. He's scoring, he's scoring. So I, I done lost count now. Mm. They, said, uh, easy. they said, they said, they said, uh, the score was like 47, 43 at the half. Mm -hmm. They said leading scores, Montrose, Christian, Levi Walker, they had no answer for Levi when the NC no. State, he had 22 at the half. No, he was they was like uh, Drew Hall, uh, three. No, he had nine. Tony Bethel had like seven. They said leading scores, <laughs> National <laughs> Christian, John Hoggy, 27. <laughs> it is at the half. I said. Yeah, he had 27 30. points at the half, yeah, man. 30. 27 I should have had 30. I should have had 30 more. Yeah, it was 27 I at had the half. 35. The score was like 43, 49 at the half. I missed some he shots. Had I should have I said, oh, he really wants to score 50. Nah, at that point I felt like I was yeah. gonna score sixty. Yeah, dude, dad, dude, dad was quiet. Like, like it's just, it was so easy you know. to get to the rim. It was so easy. I was just in, in just better shape than all these kids, man. I was just, I was just different. I was jumping high. I was coming out out of prep school at Mount Zion. This is my senior year. Like I don't really see those four All Americans on the same team. Only. They they definitely had four. See, this goes back to when you were saying <clears throat> earlier on about how your brothers was doing you. This is the prep work where they were trying yeah, to get it because it's like you because this is the thing that get me because I, I I was never on y'all level at all. So let me just just put that out there. I, I'm just an enthusiast. Shout out to Coach Boom as we always say. Look, the fact that you could have said tell it, man. Oh, he know. He's so you so humble and so chill with it. Uh, like I mean, I mean you like you 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 cocky, but you I mean I ain't say cocky, but it's confident. No, that's, but it's like that's exactly. But how but it's like but, right, too, yeah, right? But, but it's like real, I love real. it, that's Lee. Exactly it was it wasn't it, it wasn't they it wasn't. It. He turned around and said, "I'm a." It was he brought it on. He brought the ball. He and, caught the ball. I said, "I'm gonna take you something for 50. It was so calm. Like I was just like, be honest. It was just years and years calm. of preparation and just. I already know what I'm gonna do. But to have the confidence in yourself to tell somebody's dad, I'm gonna take yourself for 50. Yeah. And you give him 47, like that's wow. Tough. That's tough. That that's that was tough. tough. I was like, wow. That's tough. My high, my high in, in high school is 55. You know what I'm saying? It's and, 55. And where, where and, did you do that where in Hollis Springs? At Mount Zion. Mount Zion. In prep school. Well, like I say, every night is tough. To mm. put up 55. When the coach puts you in the limelight, where if you don't shine, mm -hmm. you're going home. 
Ooh. Yeah, see, that's tough. <laughs> see, a lot of people first game of the season. This is my first game ever in North Carolina. Okay. So then you come off the bench that game. Play against Word of God. You know. Oh somebody, yeah, yeah. You already know Word of God with these. You know somebody just went down there to play for Word of God, and yeah. I trained them. Oh, uh, shout out to uh, my boy um, Crosby. God, uh, David Davin Crosby. Crosby. David Crosby. Yeah. Our Alabama right now on the bench. You know what I'm saying? Get ready to play. So let me say this, man. What is the mindset for? Because most kids, we like say we won't use to being away from home. And and I like to ask these questions because people think it's so easy. Like Mondo went to IMG, mm -hmm. you know, you know. Most we saw was people going to Benedictine yeah. or Trinity, mm -hmm. but actually leaving the state and going to these academies and these prep schools is totally different. How do you survive that you being away from your family, your, your friends, and stuff like that, man? You know, Jelly, you was traveling and stuff like that, following it. But how do you really do as a teenager, a high school student? How do you even deal with that? It's 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 challenging. It's it's overcoming fears, mm -hmm. um, leaving the nest. Um, how can I say this? Uh, taking a taking a, taking a leap of faith, mm -hmm. um, knowing that. You doing it for a bigger picture. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's that's all I can think of when, you know what I'm saying, a kid go off, you know what I'm saying, and, and not from a hometown and and do something different like that. Mm -hmm. You 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 trying to do something better than what you think is bestowed of you right there now in your hometown. So at Holland Springs, I felt like I probably would have went with James Madison, Virginia Union, something mm -hmm. like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And why why I go I'll venture out now. I, I see greater things. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying. So now I see the likes of UConn. I see the likes of Arizona. Mm -hmm. I know what Tennessee looks like. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying. I'm talking to an assistant coach from 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 LSU. Man, him, Tennessee sending me something every day. I'm talking about FedEx every day. Shout wow. out to Tennessee, man. Hey, man, Tennessee was big, but I don't think they sent you more than LSU, though. But we, we, you know, we went through them boxes, man. We were laughing. It was, it was, it was, it was, it was like, <laughs> they were running neck and neck <laughs> with, with Georgia Tech, Tennessee, See, and, LSU. and LSU. They, they, was, they, they was at my oh, head, man, right. like at my head, at my head. So they, Bobby Crimmins was there? Who was the coach? Yeah. Paul Hewitt was Paul Hewitt, to get the black guy. Yeah, yeah, Paul Hewitt. Paul Hewitt. Tennessee, I don't so, know who was at Tennessee. So, like, for me, when he was getting all those letters, you know, we were sitting there laughing and joking about him. Like, he said it was hard. It wasn't really hard for me because I'm like, he ain't going that far. I can, I know I can get there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ride with his mom. I'm, I'm going to get on a plane with his mom. I'm gonna get with, so, I'm going to be there. Mm -hmm. But I was like, yo, no, he's, he's growing. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it was like, I'm going to always make a game. I might not make every game, but I'm going to always make a game. Mm -hmm. You know, so it wasn't, it was hard at first because I'm, I'm used to going to see him every day and I talk to him every day. So we, we still stayed in contact on the phones and stuff, but it was just like, he just different. Like, this is what's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? So whether he go from here to New Mexico, California, whatever, I'm going to make some games. He know I'm coming regardless. Of, you know, so. The challenging part, though, Lee, for a kid to lead the nest, man, is... It's just as this, man. You you leaving your friends, right? You leaving yeah. your girl, yeah. All of it. I just had a baby. Oh wow! See, I didn't know that either. I just had a baby. Ninth grade, I you know what I'm saying. I, my daughter Nala was coming in tenth grade. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Like, people don't know I was grown before I was grown. <laughs> so you had that. So that's where you say you had all this weight coming on to you. Weight. Had this, you had that. A lot of weight. Had a lot of weight. Had a lot of pressure, man. Like, like people don't know, man. People don't really know the story. I could have went out of high school. That's what we want. That's that's what we want. And that's and that's that's why I'm getting to like. That's why you 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 lead a nest. That's why you you know what I'm saying you you want to better yourself because you never know what comes, what life deals. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying. When life comes, life comes. You know what I'm saying. So. Life came at me. High school was real. You know what I'm saying? I grew up before my time. Mm -hmm. That's why I played before my time. Mm -hmm. Played before my age. Like I played, I played like I was 32 at 16. So, like, it was nothing for me to, to play in the summer league with Ben Wallace and Corey Alexander. Can you hear him, Ray? Okay. Yeah, it was nothing. It was nothing for me to play with like Corey Alexander and like play up to to par mm -hmm. against those. 
those type of dudes, Johnny Newman, backing me down. I'm right. I'm yeah, I remember 12. watching y'all. Right. I'm like in the, I'm like in the twelfth grade. Johnny Newman backing me down. He catching it on the block. I learned a lot, man. Early, mm. dumb early, like like stuff that I had no business knowing. You know what I'm saying? But I I went. I had to. I went through it, and I'm glad I went through it because I'm here today. You know what I'm saying? Like even the the going to jail and all that, like it still like kept my mind frame. Like basketball helped my mind frame. Mm -hmm. All the challenges, all the the teaching, all the you know, all the all the life learned lessons. You know, learning how to keep my mind frame sharp and and, and and just maintain. You know what I'm saying? Even when the ball not bouncing your way, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You know, it's gonna bounce your way eventually. You know what I'm saying? Learn how to be patient. Learn how to stay the course. You know, and that's just that's just what it is. It's, that's the challenge of, of of these kids today, challenging them and, and you know letting them know the difference between high school, prep school. You know what I'm saying? Like that's mm -hmm. the, that's the biggest thing. Even in this, man, and, and knowing you're doing it for something greater. That's like like these kids today that's making it to the league, man. They 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 had to sacrifice. Mm -hmm. That's the ultimate word, sacrifice. Yeah, a lot of people don't don't know I what that is. I mean, because I asked Mondo the same question. He made it a what, tremendous sacrifice. What, what made you leave Trinity to go to IMG? Like, that, everybody don't want to do yeah, that. Right. You know, Henry he Coleman man. had an opportunity to do that. He, he didn't man. do it. You know. He was the man. Like, Mondo didn't have to leave. He didn't have to go nowhere, but he did because it, it bettered him. It better, mm -hmm. it better his accolades. It better him as a person. Mm hmm and look at the player it became. He became. He was ready when he got to yeah. college. No, for sure. He yeah, actually sure. he actually lost about for sure. I think he actually lost about like he was in ten to twelve pounds. He yeah, but he toned he toned, he toned it, it. Yeah, into in all better muscles. Position. So it, yeah, it, it so for sure. he did the right like it, it was the right sure. move. It was the right move because right he, he trimmed it down, body. but he body. toned it up, and his body was just tremendous. You can like tell how Mondo ran the court in high school. Exactly. At MG. See that's you know yeah. Like, it was different. It was See different. people don't look at that part of the basketball. It was different. See when we when we I tell people when we played that's our nephew. You know yeah yeah when when we played when Trinity when we played up there that Saint Stephen Saint Agnes tournament. You know how it is up there, and we played the beginning of the year. And that's when I first get to see Mondo, like, after, you know, the first year. This was the 10th grade year. Mondo was running the floor. Sprinting. Mm -hmm. Sprinting. And when I say when Mondo, we, we get the ball and we push it out, Mondo he first be, down he and run it down. Stewart. He beat Isaiah you down the floor Stewart. and it's like, yes. He beat Isaiah Stewart. Threw it down, down the, floor. the floor, right. And that's why I kept telling people, I said, Mondo runs the floor. Y'all see, y'all, when he doing the it, that don't show anything. That, that matchup right there helped Mondo get to the league. Yeah. Yep. To my, he ain't get there yet, but he did. Right. I'm going to be honest. Everybody know it. Everybody, everybody it, in the world know Mondo should be an NBA. And if anybody right. saw when he was down there, when he killed James, James Wise went down there, boo. What I, hold on. What did I, when we had the conversation, I said, yo, they talk about Wise. I sure. said, Mon, Mondo. I'm going to say it on camera. Mondo yeah. bust his ass. I'm just that saying. I mean, you know, I'm just saying. All. He don't got to rush. But I, when I called you the other day and me and you was on the phone last week, I was like, Man, Mondo bust his ass. You was like, yo, I remember that game. I was there. See, I don't, I don't need to talk about that. I was there. Because, you know, what's already understood is understood. Right. And that's what I'm saying. So a lot of these, these academies, man, you know, a, a lot of people just, we don't understand too much. And that's why I wanted to kind of elaborate. Not take away from the story, but because nowadays these kids have resources that Facts. Yeah. they ain't the same. They have all that. Like we, Not, right. Word of mouth. Right. Like, man, Jonathan Hogg. For me... And I'm, I'm, I'm going to go kind of not, not off script, but because you, you want to know. Like you said, you want to know. You asked him when he knew he had it. I'm going to tell you what I knew he had it. it. This is for me. I mean, I knew he could play in high school. I knew he was the best player around here. His toughest game to me was against Kennard, freshman. Kennard was a senior. Got past that. When I seen Jonathan Hargett sitting right here playing the Kennel League in Georgetown, mm -hmm. Yeah. Victor Page. Uh, yeah, that was some dogs up there. Uh, uh, what's old boy from uh, Houston? Mo what, the shooter. Mo Mo what was his name? Mookie. Uh, Moochie Norris. Moochie Norris. Uh, all these guys are here. Franchise. Franchise. Stevie Frank. He's, he's, he's still a senior. To hold his own in that kennel league at Georgetown University. And then we, me and him walking out the gym. They invited him to come play in Bury Farms. I'm like, 
Ain't that, that we ain't going on no goddamn Barry Farms. Shout out to T T man. You know what I'm saying? T T AJ English, man. Yeah. Hey, um, I was ready to do some big things with them. And um, you know, I I, I linked up with Steve Francis. I, I met Steve Francis at his house. I was able Shout to was, all I was, I was, was crazy. I was one of the guys that that looked up to Steve Francis, AI. You know what I'm saying? Like these are the type of dudes I looked up to. That's why I wanted to ask you, who was these guys, who you modeled your game after? Definitely who AI. Was that? Definitely okay. Bubba Shop. Okay. You know? But he built like Steve Francis. But, he wanted to body you. You know what I'm saying? Upper body. He wanted to body When I seen you know Steve saying? Francis play at UVA, Merlin came to UVA and, 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 and shut down Charlotte. You know what I'm saying? And he caught two bodies. He caught two joints, two lean in dunks on the break. And he know exactly what I'm talking about to this day. If he ever if catch you this joint. <laughs> if you don't know, Google Steve Franchise. Yo. Francis, could. but we call him the Franchise. Franchise. Yes, sir. Google. <laughs> Pet that rock home, boy. Mm. So look. So franchise was one of them dudes that showed me that on the break, you take no mercy out on the rim. And that's why my upper body is kind of like it is because of him. Uh, he wore number 23. Um, I think he left Allegheny, yeah. Yeah. came to Maryland. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I, so I, I already knew, you know, I'm hearing a lot about him because I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm based out of North. I'm coming out of Maryland. So mm -hmm. I'm coming from National Christian. So I, I'm hearing... Plus my brother then played against all these type of dudes, you know what I'm saying? He my Tim is a Merlin guy. He loved Rod Strickland. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He loved all these type of guards from Merlin. So I'm already hearing about That's who that's who your brother remind me of. No, See, sure. that, that, sure. that that right there. For Thank sure. you for Rod saying Strickland that. Was his yes. That yes. Was, that was yes. His guy. Yes. So 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 like I'm 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 already knowing who who um who franchise is. So I the crazy thing about it, UVA is they want me to come out there for, for like a little um, recruiting trip, but they just they just give me two tickets to come out to Charlottesville and watch the game. Mm -hmm. So I'm there, Tyrone Beeman, which was my um, was my, like he was the uh, financial aid runner for the Poston Brothers. That was the, the the company I was I was signed with okay. since I was 13. Excuse me. I was signed with an agent group since I was 13. Can you even do that? <laughs> I want, just want, I want okay. people to understand where I was at with it with basketball. Okay, that, that's what we want to know. I'm Why like, would you what? ask that question now? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I, 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 like, like, what? So, so, so at 13, man, I'm, I'm meeting with the Poston brothers, and he they telling me about they got Derek Anderson, and, and man, you know, they got all these, all these players and all that, and, you know, I'm, you know, I'm 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 geek like where where I sign right 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 <laughs> where do I right. sign? Um, so I'm already I'm already like I'm linked in at 13. Um, so Tyrone Beam and me and him go out to the game out uh Maryland. I mean out of Charlottesville and then we see Maryland play and we see Stephen Franchise and I, I see him for the first time and I'm like I'm at all I'm on the way back at home. I'm like, I cannot wait to get in the gym and try these don'ts. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm probably like 16, 17, you know what I'm saying? And I, I'm, I see the franchise like shut down Charlottesville. It's kind of hard to do you shut down Charlottesville. Now, we're talking about where Ralph Sampson just finished killing. Yeah. We're talking about Ralph Sampson. So this man came and shut down Charlottesville. <laughs> So I'm gonna be honest with y'all, man. I, I witnessed it. Like I witnessed a lot of basketball. That's why I say I'm a, I'm a basketball almanac. Straight up, you 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 want to know some? Like ask me. I, I I promise you, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. So Steve Franchise. So I'm in that main living room. I was a Francis. Like yo, I'm about to go hoop. I'm like dog. I can't go hoop, man. I gotta go back to Richmond. <laughs> I remember it, though. I wish I could have went to go. I just had too much to do. Mm -hmm. I'm running with TT and them. You know, AJ, I got I got to go back to Richmond. Mm -hmm. I, got, I got other things to do. I wish I could have ran when I went. They going to who? The whole Maryland crew. Like, the whole Maryland crew. Lonnie Baxter, all of them. Baxter, yep. They going yep. to who? They up in the crib. They up in the crib. They like, yeah, we going, we going right now. I'm like, dog, dang, I got to go back to Richmond, dog, right now. Mm. Yeah, man, we didn't see crazy, that, man. man. Like I meet, I meet franchise. Mm. That with him, mm -hmm. people don't know the story. I, I see Martin Lawrence <laughs> when I'm young. He married in Miss Virginia. Yeah, eleven yep. years old. Yep. I'm because of Jim Davis. He uh, Jim James Davis is 
uh, Miss Virginia cousin, second cousin. So they got a family reunion that, that, that weekend out Portsmouth. Bam. Yeah, I remember that, that was in the news. Yep, Martin that was Lawrence in the news. out there. I come in the house, my lawn sitting on the couch like this. He get up and get around. I'm coming around the joint. I see them big old ears coming around the joint like this. <laughs> just like this, bro. He comes yeah. just like this. I'm like, yeah, that's Martin. Yeah. <laughs> that's wow. Martin. And he's like, yo, bro, I, heard, I heard a lot about your game, bro. You know what I'm saying? Keep doing your thing. Shh. Yo. Man. Like, I, I could go on and on, man. Like, for real. Like, I, I met a lot of great people, man. There's a lot of great people. Ben Wallace. He one of the dudes like right now. I'm training in his gym. What is, what does he mean to you? You know, because because I, I was going to answer those questions like that, but I'm gonna just kind of throw them in there so I won't forget. Hmm. That, I mean, man, like from playing in debacle, taking a, a a picture with him on it, a poster with him on it, from him doing what he can for me. You know what I'm saying, like. That's it, man. Y'all know what it is, man. Y'all know the shout know out to Big Ben, man. Y'all know the score. Y'all know it, man. Like, uh, I like that's my dog. That's my dog. And and before we go, we're gonna go back to this story. But I'm gonna ask you about one person. I remember when I talked to you one night, where you texted me. We was I was asking you who would you want on, and remember if we would have did it in October, you said Kendrick Warren. Definitely. Why Kimmy? Uh, what he mean to you? Just what he what 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 he mean to me and to my brother, um, Mike Hargit. Uh, just what I've seen, like what Kimmy did at VCU, what I know he represent to this city. Mm -hmm. Um, what I know what he what he should have been. Mm -hmm. Um. We all say that he's the best basketball player that came out of this city. Oh no, for sure. You know that there's a lot oh, of people, sure. but he he's him and Milton Bell will always be one, one two, two, depending on who one, list, I can't, who it is, I right? Can't, I can't pinpoint that. Who. That's an Allen Iverson, Jason Kidd <laughs> type of thing. Which I, one you will want to? It's just it's just for them two to be your type of mentors, though, man. It's just you were blessed re very early, Mike Hargan, man. I, I see how it was affecting you, man, because because when I when I asked you one time before, you was like, my brothers, man, you know. All of them. All of my brothers. Like, all of them from Mike to Lawrence, Kimmy, Milk, Milk, Kimmy, like, Kenny Harris. Yeah, Petersburg. Corey Alexander. Uh, man, it just go on and on, man. Like, the Keith Twines, the Lamar the, uh, to the Ray. Ray Ray, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like, um, I got so many mentors, man, that helped me throughout this. I can't Fats. Mm -hmm. Fat, shout out to Fats Berry, man. People forget about him. That work he put in early nine. George, George, Jim. George Perkins, AAU coach. You know what I'm saying? He took us to uh to to Beaumont to play against. You know what I'm saying? Dudes in detention. You know what I'm saying? When we was like 12, 11, 12. So they, they he taught us how to play tough. You know what I'm saying? How to you know what I'm saying? Not cry. Uh, Coach Coakley. Mm -hmm. um, uh, man, Dave Robbins. Of I would say Coach Show. Robbins for what he what he did. Um, you know, out North Carolina. Uh, you know, Coach Hopkins. Coach Mike White. Coach Mike White. You know, he did a lot of uh, sacrificing. Uh, he. Man, he did a lot, man. Like it was times he gave me the clothes off his back. Mm. Like him and Mike, they like they don't know. People don't really know the story. So Mike was at George Mason. Took George Mason to their first NCAA uh, appearance, mm -hmm. and that following year, well, Rick Barnes was coaching it, and so that following year, they brought in Mike White. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And <clears throat> Mike White wind up getting in trouble. Mm. And so he wind up going to North Carolina Central. Okay. So that's how him and Mike, my brother Mike and Mike know each other. Okay. And so so Mike get Mike White get the, you know what I'm saying, the assistant joint out Mount Zion and and my brother Mike is like, bruh, look out for my brother. Make sure he good. Mm. And Mike White did that. Mm. To wow. a, to a, to the tenth to the tenth power. That's dope, man. To the tenth power. I'm talking about that's I'm cool. talking about man. I had so many shoes 
at Mount Zion. And we wearing uniforms. Right. Every day. Because they were Adidas, right? Yep, yep. So yeah. we wear a uniform. We wear, we wear a blue shirt and some khakis every day. Wow. Dog, I got, I got a shoe bag full of shoes. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about, I'm talking about, I got so much stuff, Marquise Daniels hating on me. <laughs> wow. He's still, he's still my Movado and go to Auburn, bro. Like, I'm going to put it out there. Like, he know what he did. Like, yeah. that's my dog. That's my brother still. I don't care. Like, he made it. He was a dog. If he yeah, had he to take it. that watch and make it, dog. Yeah, he, yeah, he take that watch. It. He made it. <laughs> Shit. And I'm not like, for real, I'm going to be honest. Excuse my language. But, like, I'm. it's just like Mike White did his thing. You know what I'm saying? He did his thing. He definitely held me down. Definitely. definitely. And, and see, you know, one thing that I, I've been sitting up here and I listen to you, man, and I remember... And I always go back, and I've been saying this recently um, to all my podcasts, um, when we did me, Keechwan, um, mm -hmm. Kennard, and mm -hmm. Pettiford. You know Richmond is the most non giving us flower city. <laughs> Facts. It just, okay. We don't want to give flowers for flowers. nothing. Facts. I don't even know why that is. But you've been giving flowers to everybody. Like It's like, again, it's a therapy session for you. I learned Now, it. I know people like want to hear the, 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 the story, but this is good. This is really good for sure. because we don't know how you feel, where you come. People, Jelly may have something. Just, I'm just doing an example. Kanai may have something. Keechuan may have a story. Luke Ma might have a story. Lee, Tyree Evans might have a story. To be honest with you, man, I've been hating on my whole life about basketball. Just because just, just I could play basketball. Around here? Just around Richmond. Just, you would never, you would I, never, I would never see. You would I, never I know see. how much behind this, like, because because much for me, it's crazy. All I've been like, hearing is your name. Is your name is somebody this, this, just this. said take the political politics out of basketball, mm -hmm. and that's what kept me out of going to the NBA. Mm -hmm. Politics. If it weren't for politics, I would have been to the league. If it weren't for politics. Well, well, first of all, speaking of the NBA, and I know people, we we went through this. When you got Amari Stoudemire, who actually goes out. And, and somebody was asking him Says if he had to pick guy. five guys, <laughs> you would be one of them. <laughs> first, first of all, that's you know that's how cool. you gonna pick a dude that didn't even make it to the league two times. This dude two time NBA, two time MVP in the NBA. That if that ain't that respect, I don't know what he is. That speak volumes on his side. That speak time. volumes. That, that's the type of player he was. MVP. Yeah. And that man said, I'm the best guy he ever played. When you heard that, how did that make you feel? I, I, I know that y'all have a relationship. How did that make you feel when you heard that? That was like, what, that too long ago, right? It was the like, last year? No, a couple years ago, when they were in the Olympics. Ago. He was talking about in the Olympics, because remember Carmelo? Oh, yeah, said, yeah. It Yo, just, I remember it just, helped, it just let me know what what I mean to the game of basketball, like like what, what I've helped start him out with, he was able to accomplish. Mm hmm um, I think I think it really, 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 really did some. You know what I'm saying to him for him to go ahead and give me my flowers. A lot of people don't want to say how they got there, mm -hmm. but I know I was the reason why I started got there. Mm -hmm. Like the things we talked about, the things we rocked about, things I showed him in North Carolina, and, and for him to even be there was because of me. Mm -hmm. Hop was ready to ship him back. And I was like, no, nah, we we need that talent. That man can he can dribble like me at six eleven. Oh, that I did not know. <laughs> exactly. That's why I was like, yo, like there's no need for you to nah, keep him here. He can stay right here in this room, right here beside me. Mm. I had I had a I had a nice little room, bunk bed but on the on the side. I ain't, I ain't had to have nobody right there. I could have had the room to myself. Mm -hmm. Nah, start of my going right there on that bottom bunk right there. And every night, every night, that's what it was. Me and him was kicking it every night. We got better. We got better every day, every day. And you seeing these guys, man, I'm the league seeing again. <clears throat> I'm seeing league down right. talent. I'm seeing Marquise Daniels. I see, see start of my, mm -hmm. I know what the NBA look like now. Right. That was it. That's it. I was it. Frank Jerry has. Jack. Yeah, Jerry Jack. Right. I'm like, man, what else? What else do I need? But I, I mean, you know, 
my family, man, like that's what made me choose West Virginia. It was, it wasn't, and, and that you wasn't me. me. You just want to say because I was just about to say, let's go into West Virginia. Yeah, it wasn't me. It was, it was more so my mom didn't know the business, not knowing. Uh, shit, LSU was giving you eighty thousand dollars. Why don't you take the eighty thousand dollars? <laughs> If you need some, if you need money, take the money. <laughs> if you need the money, take the money. Hey, look, take the money now. If you need the money, mom, if you take 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 eighty thousand dollars, twenty thousand dollars, yeah, you never know where it's coming from. from you know right. what I'm saying? Well, you know this dude gonna drop this brown bag off, and it's gonna be eighty thousand dollars in it. I'm talking, mom. I'm, I'm at LSU. <laughs> I'm at LSU trip, yo. Me and Mike, I me and my Shit, brother Mike Hoggett. I'm talking about we at the. LSU Tennessee game, I'm talking about, and no disrespect, love you to death. Excuse me, I'm going to use bathroom. Because that's fine. No. Bro, I got 20 Cabodian Jones around me, bro. I got 20 bad Jones. I'm talking about, I can't even blink. These Jones so bad. Yeah, like, and LSU was just offering me the bag. They was just giving me the bag. Why, mom? Why take, why take West Virginia? Right. Why? Why take that? She had no clue of what was going on in the world. Like, for real. She had no clue. I ain't going to say it. I ain't gonna, she thought she was choosing what was best because it was closer. It was... That's why I was really... You know, it was, she thought it was safe, but she didn't know what really go down in West Virginia. <laughs> she had no clue, man. Like... She ain't know the like the, the, the cousin versus cousin thing. She ain't know. <laughs> right. She, right. She ain't know, man. Like my mom didn't know. And Jay John, the assistant coach, hey, as Arizona, he was like, yo, we're gonna fly you out. I'm like, yo, I'm gonna sign as soon as I get out there. That was on my head. So my mom, she like call him back and see if I can get a trip out there. Let me see if I can get a trip out there um, to go with you. Can you get a ticket? So I called Jay John. I asked him. He's like, yo, let me check. And I'll call you right back. He called me right back. He's like, nah. It, um, it'll be against, you know what I'm saying, NCAA rules and violations. You know what I'm saying? We'll get sanctioned for mm. sure. You know what I'm saying? And um, right then and there, I should have told me, yo, I need to sign with Arizona. I need to go out there because these people, not only looking out for them, they looking out for me too. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And mind you, my dog Damon Stoudemire is already out there. Well, he seen me kill his cousin, Celine Stoudemire. I remember him. <laughs> yeah. I hit 40 and three quarters on Celine Stoudemire and set out the whole fourth quarter. And he witnessed it. Wait a minute. <laughs> In wait, Vegas. In wait, Vegas. Wait, wait a minute. You score 40 and set out the whole fourth quarter. The whole fourth quarter, bro. I set out. And me and that going, Damon started over there tripping? laughing. We over there laughing. Different. We over there laughing at each other. We like, bro, we can't wait to this John Buzzer. We gonna, we gonna, I'm, which way you going? We gonna, we, let's dab each other up. So as soon as the game go over, boom. Because I, I didn't put it out there that I want to go to Arizona. Man, can you imagine you had went out to Arizona? I was already locked. That was that was that, that that to me that system fits you perfect. That was Wait. it. You, so you talking about when Lou came in? I ain't even get I ain't even get there, but I'm definitely about to. Oh, okay, we, 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 and, Lou, and Lou was coming Lou, out Lou, there. Yeah. Lou came out North Carolina three times. He don't never come out East Coast. Yeah, Lou Olson. Yeah, but you know, I, I, I thought out. you were gonna talk about when me, you, and Tim had to walk over to the basketball court. And made us shoot basketball. You were talking to Lou Austin there, and he promised you 27 Man, minutes a year as a freshman. That's crazy, bro. Because if I don't even remember that joke, bro. <laughs> I don't even remember that. That's crazy. Why does it play? Come out there, unofficial. Me, you, and Tim go out there shooting the basketball. It's called Lou Austin. I'm like, you know, Lou Ho. I mean, yeah, yeah, the basketball Lou, coach for Arizona. I'm like, Lou Olsen. Lou, Lou Olsen. Olsen. Yeah, I'm like, I got to shoot the basketball for this dude. Like, man, I'm not going to college. You need to be talking to him. Never <laughs> forget it. We went to the YMCA. And I was like, yeah, he's a West Coast guy. Never come out to the East Coast. Like, it's very, like, I only Didn't heard this. Didn't he promise you 27 two, minutes a year as a freshman? 
if he did not, nah, and he, because he, they had Jason Gardner there. I know I won't get in that 27. Yeah, Jason Gardner, him, and what's the other guard that Gilbert Arena. Gilbert Arena. Jason Gardner should have left when, when Gilbert yeah. Arena. They had, more, when they had, yeah. they had seven yeah. players that was player of the year, Naismith capable. Mm. Seven players. Who else was on that team with them? Jan Fry. No, no, I, I that, 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 that Jan Fry was on there. Yep. I just yeah. remember Gilbert Arenas, Jason Gardner, yeah, Jan uh, Fry. It was uh, Dennis Lattimore. Okay, I don't know. Was Richard Jefferson? He was all American. R.J. Wondell. Mm -hmm. All them. They had just left. What about Ike Dial? Gilbert. All them. All them just left. Yeah, Gilbert left after his sophomore year. Um, Andre left. No, Andre. He came. He was after me. Okay. Um. They had a squad, bro. It was like that's the year they lost to Duke in like, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, you know I know about that year. You know what I'm that saying? Yeah, I know you do. Yeah, definitely. They don't rub that in. You know, we don't do that over here. We, we don't, don't do no Duke. John Shire. Yeah, I, yeah I, I think um no, I ain't gonna even say he was on the team. But I always said to this day, I always thought that um Jason should have left with Gilbert. I do. I always say that. Yeah. Yeah. And me watching you play your your whole high school career, I think for me personally, the game that I seen that was, it wasn't even a, really a tough game, but the game that I seen that, I finally seen somebody that could score back the back buckets with you. Mm -hmm. Two games stand out to me. When you played Carmelo, when he was at Townsend, he dropped 38 just running the baseline. Back, back. Back, just, yeah, back. just just the baseline. I, I, I was like, wow. Like, And you was playing with who? National, National Christian. Christian. Yeah. yeah. Carmelo had 38 going baseline I to baseline. Slept. I slept on Melo. Yeah. I slept on Melo. I'm gonna tell you what led up to the game. Like my coach Trevor, you know what I'm saying? Trevor Brown, he was just like, yo, we got this spectacular we gotta play against the spectacular sophomore, yo. You know what I'm saying? I keep hearing about the sophomore. Like it's like I keep hearing about a sophomore. Everybody keep talking about a sophomore, you know what I'm saying? Like, like who is this dude? <laughs> yeah. Man? Like everybody keep talking about it. Remember we walked in that gym, we was like, yo, we we in the hood now. So Let's I'm go. I go in the gym, yeah. the gym is yeah. <laughs> It was yeah. like niggas was bouncing around. East oh, it's side. like niggas yeah. was bouncing East off the wall yeah. in there. It's like, and so my my family live up there. Mm -hmm. My family lives in Baltimore. See, right mine's on the west day. side, but that was the east side over there. And so they was in Townsend. So Townsend is off the chain. Right, you know what I'm right. That's on the east side of Baltimore. Off yep. the chain. So man, they bouncing off the walls <laughs> yeah, in there. I'm, I'm in like, like, yo, what, what the, the fuck? Yeah, I'm like. Yo, this is a basketball game where we get ready. Yeah, like, what's going on? Yeah. hitting that joint. It's like a nigga climbing from the wall in that joint. Like, man, what the world? Like, man, I'm telling you, it was just bananas. Shout out Carmelo, though. And he had two guards that can play. Okay. So it won't just him. He had two great guards that knew how to play. You know, and, and, and knew they knew how to the game. Ball. Right. They wasn't no prolific scorers or anything, but one might have They made it work for them. One had hands, made it work. one could shoot, yeah. and, and kept them. And they made, kept, it made it much more like he, when he had in Syracuse. Exactly, yeah. He had McNamara and Warwick with him, right? And who, who was the exactly. other guard? He had McNamara and And a boy named and Steph DeWayne, um, the little kind of like an yeah, African yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah Billy Eadley. Yeah. And Billy, yep, Billy Eadley, yep. Did Billy play in that national championship? Yeah. And I thought he got suspended because I remember he got suspended. No, he played. Yeah, yeah. He bust his ass too when he was with. Okay, but anyway. Billy bust my ass too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. See, you got him in high school. Okay, see. I'm going to bring that part Billy tough now. Billy tough. Billy tough. For real. You don't know how Billy tough. I was going to say, Billy Eadley was one of the toughest guys. 6'4. Yeah, big. I, I never seen a guard that big like control Billy, Billy, a game. He was he was like a grown man. He was a dog, man. Yeah, Billy, Billy Elin was, was the dog. truth. Yeah, Billy Elin was the truth. Shout the out dog. Billy, man. If you ever watched this, y'all, man. Like I think I said, Syracuse did him a little wrong. Basketball I'm that I seen a lot of basketball from my brothers, my brothers' brothers. <laughs> like I seen a lot of basketball, y'all, and I watch it and I pay attention. It ain't like I just watch the game and the names just go by me and I don't watch that game. No, I'm watching it. Mm -hmm. I can see, I can see if you got a good field goal percentage. If you can hit a three, if you can play, you know what I'm saying under the system. If you can run, the, if you can run the floor, if you can, if you can hit shots, man. If you can play basketball, I can, I'm watching. Mm -hmm. Like I ain't just go to West Virginia and not watch basketball after me. I'm watching it. I'm watching. I'm watching these girls. Mm -hmm. I'm watching these high school girls, these middle school girls. Mm -hmm. I'm pushing. We pushing. Like we working. And like I'm watching YouTube all day. Um, Instagram all day. I'm watching Grand House, um, Tyler Ralph. You know what I'm saying? Uh, C. Berkeley out there in New York. Like I'm, like all the top trainers. 94 feet, 
Feel mm-hmm. handy. I'm, yep, feel handy. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like all these Drew Halen, I'm 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 at the top. I'm working with them, like because so, I want to be there. So let me ask you a question. See, I'm, I, I won't do that, but I'm gonna do it. <laughs> you know, we we were talking about the trainers <laughs> on that podcast that we did, right? For me, could not. Um, even Doovy when Doovy was here, <laughs> like he know where I'm going with this. No, tell me, hold on, this is the funny thing. I know the way that, but why he got his shoes off? Because I'm comfortable. Yeah, no, he com- <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he, I'm comfortable yeah. now. He, 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 I just yeah. keep down because I'm seeing. No, like, you know, I just, it's I been like thirty minutes though. I seen him when he hit them. Yeah. Yeah. I said I'm, I'm taking them off now. Pop, I'm comfortable. Look, and you see what that time is, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah so I'm like, but I just have that time. I'm over time. Yeah, I just happened to look and I'm like. Shoes up. This is what happened when you at home, man. Yeah, yeah, you really. You at home. I, I just had that activity peep it, but go ahead. Yeah, that's what you do. See, y'all, y'all nice now. I'm good. I'm y'all, good. Y'all good. We talk about the trainers. Mm. <laughs> we you, you mentioned Scoop, you mentioned um um Luke Mon, you know, shout out to those guys. But we were talking about these trainers, man. Yes, sir. What's what's going on, man? These developers. You know, you talked about Coach Rudy. You know, what's what's your what's your take? And we will get back to the story. What what's your take on? Stuff? Um, because you know, Doovy said, "Did these trainers are stealing?" I kind of. <laughs> it's kind of hard to say that, man, because Doovy came up off of, off of us. Right, right. It's kind of hard, like. I mean, he had his reasons why he said it. I right? know why yeah, he said yeah. it because he training now. Right. You know what I'm saying? And um, mm-hmm. and I, I hope everything go. You know what I'm saying? Because that's that's my dog. Right. You know what I'm yeah. I don't shout out to Doovy, man. You know what I'm saying? I I just know it's hard to teach a kid that's never played basketball. Basketball. You know what I'm saying? It's like. A kid that's never touched the basketball or dribbled, mm-hmm. has no coordination, and you got to get them to love it. So you it, think, mm. go ahead, go ahead. No, so you think a lot of these kids, like these parents, are just just forcing them in, forcing them in, forcing it. It's 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 it's, it's got to start with the kid loving the game first. Facts, because I deal with a lot of that coaching rec football. You can't babysit. You can't push them. You can't force it. It has to be mutual. You know what I'm saying? And, and from there, that's when you can grow a, a, a fond love of basketball or a sense. Because a lot of kids don't know what they're getting in, involved. You know what I'm saying? They don't know what they're getting they, they, they self into. Why do you think these parents will just push them in this stuff like, like, it's because uh, I was watching a joint the other day. Um, my boy from And One, uh, Future, mm-hmm. and he does these camps. He does this joint where he he he, he bring kids in just to, in his gym and he teach them. Just let them go. Mm-hmm. He just let them go mm-hmm. and teach them just to play. Okay. Make mistakes. Make as many as mistakes as you can. Just play. Okay. But it's a parent on the sideline saying. Go, 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 go. And he like, yo, stop. Stop telling them to go. He the youngest kid in there. Teach him how to learn how to pass mm-hmm. and open up the floor and make better passes and play better defense mm-hmm. rather than trying to score at a young age. If you teach him how to be a young playmaker, young and early, mm-hmm. guess what he's going to be? He's going to be the best basketball player in the gym. Mm-hmm. But if you just teach him how to dominate and score, then that's all he's going to do. He's not going to play defense. Yeah, right, defense. He's not going to do nothing. He's right. Gonna talk. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of the aspects of the games is being lost because of the parents. parents. Forcing this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you know what? Just to, pick, just to piggyback off you with that, like, you know, I go to basketball games when I feel like it because basketball to me now is out the way. But it's like that with football. Man, you know. Not saying these kids don't need no pushing, but damn. Yeah, but the parent, up. yeah, but the parents are making the game so bad for the ease kids. Up. Yeah, they want they want to be able to go to work and drop them off. And they, they want, not they even want to that. Go to work. They not want to even go to that. Work and... not, not even that. It's 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 if all of us in here right now got 
sons, all of us. But Jonathan's son is the one running all the touchdowns in the backyard there. Her son running all the ones in the street. Mm-hmm. When you get there, it's like, give my son the ball. But but your son ain't really played against no competition. Mm-hmm. But then you out here where there's six more dogs that's just like your son. And then you wonder why your son can't go on the field. Because your son had never been tackled first. Your son had never been hit. But you just think because he with his little cousin at the fan reunion, he running all through them. It's, it's not even about that. Like, a lot of people want to live their dream through their kids. And let's just right. be honest. That's it, right? Let's right. just be honest. That's right. It. Like, I'm going right. to say what people don't want. A lot That's of people right. want to do That's that. It. Right. Yeah, bro. Because you had a chance and you messed up. So now you're pushing yourself. You're going to get it to the point where your kid don't even want to play no more. That's it. I, and I've seen that. Sure and I've seen it. you seen what Snoop, Snoop said. That yeah. rumor Snoop kept saying that about his son, where he went to UCLA. And when he got there, it was just like yep. his son lost interest. Yeah. And he said, before he wanted to lose his son, he went on here and paid sixty some thousand dollars a year, yeah, just Romeo. so his son. Look at Romeo P. Just so he could keep his relationship with his son, because he didn't want to lose that bond with him. Look at Romeo and De- uh, Demar the Rose. Well, best friends. Demar got Romeo the scholarship at USC. Oh wow! See, I didn't know. That. It was a package deal. See, a lot of people don't know that. I didn't know that. Yeah, they they took Romeo because of Demar. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So, Demar did this thing went on. They still best friends. They they cool, but he got him in there. But P didn't put a lot of pressure on Romeo to continue to play. You know, he let him make his own decisions. But right now, I got coach used to. I've been doing this for 15 years. The parents are messing the game up. I'm telling you. Just by not allowing the coaches as the coach. Thank you. Just by not allowing the coaches to coach. Your parent. I mean, your kid is gonna be what. He make it. Oh, I, I definitely agree with that. You know what I'm saying? I, I went through that. Did my you last try to coach year. your son when he was at Trinity? Did you? No. Did you try to tell the coach what to do when he was at Trinity? No, the, I had one conversation, and when I when I first got there, my son was playing small forward, mm-hmm. and we were struggling. At the, and my son was a point guard, mm-hmm. but he was tall, and we lost the first two games. And then, and of course, when I first got to Trinity, they said. We don't want no interaction from the parents. You just made a suggestion. Like, yeah. So I said, let me make a suggestion. I said, I'm going to say one thing. And I said, give him a shot at the point guard. Right. If you don't like it, you can do whatever you want. How tall was he? My son was tall. God damn, I mean, he's like 6'2 now. Yeah. Yep. But he was tall. And, and they started him. That changed the thing for Trinity. It was, but you, the rest is history. Yeah, but you fell back and not... At every coach, hey, right. John, to put my son in the game. Yeah. But see, hey, John, yeah. I, I every never game. did that. Hey, every game. See, that, that, I never did that when that when my first my son first started with suit out there in Southside. I just let him let him go. You know, I I, I don't want nothing to do with that. Then when the middle school changed into that, when Coach Atkins got him, right. my son in in, in that, that spring of the sixth grade, she said, because my son didn't start playing basketball till the sixth grade, till the fall. Coach Atkins said, I want him. And I said, she said, because he ain't got no bad habits. Mm-hmm. I can teach him whatever I want to teach mm-hmm. him. Mm-hmm. 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 She mm-hmm. said, he ain't been coached. Mm-hmm. That's Gene right there. She said, he ain't been coached. She that's said, Gene. I want him. And, I'm, and I'm, me, I'm looking like, Gene Atkins want my son. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, yeah, yeah. that's Gene. So that, so that, that means he good. She knows real talent. Right, right. Saying, so I said, he good. I'm, I'm, I'm geek. I'm calling everybody like, Mom, Gene Atkins want my, my son. Every, she want every kid. She right. She want every kid. And she walked into school and picked her kids? <laughs> and one of them was mine? Nobody has a chance with everything she wanted to do. Like, I got, okay. a kid, I got a kid on my team right now that I coach. You know, That's he, one of the basketball he, minds that I've always, always valued. Oh, man. man. All day, 100%. I'm trying it's, to get her to get that name in that gym, bro. Oh, yeah. So they, they I'm working you. on that. They, oh, they need you. But like, she so, need that. He's eight years old. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Got this kid don't, don't talk. Got to go down. This kid don't say nothing at practice. And I coach football. Mm. <laughs> and the way he hits the hole and runs and this, that, and the third, it's hard for me to believe that the coaches who had him before me never gave him an opportunity. Because he don't talk. He don't. I mean, he, he really don't say nothing. Mm. So it's hard for you to tell me he don't understand what's going on. When a kid that don't talk to you, that means he's paying attention mm. at everything he does. Mm. And then now he he's like the best back on my team right now. But it's all political with everybody else. See, I don't go off the political. Mm-hmm. I've been around the best. 
him, Kennard, all, like I, I've been around the best basketball players in the city. I've been around the best football players, Aaron Alexander, Mike Robb, mm. Sean Turner, Marcus Lewis, um, Mike Handsome, um, uh, Reese Card. Like I've been around guys that's great. Been right, right there, you right, right, right there. there. So you know it. I don't like the daddy ball thing or the parent ball. Boy, thing. let me. That's see, a whole nother topic. But, but, but no, but I'm saying, but see, that's the thing because when I was with Coach Atkins, I was asked to be on the staff. Right. I didn't felt like that I was qualified, but I knew why she wanted me there. Yeah. You know, to, to keep the kid. But I wasn't going anywhere. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. But I respected and I learned my craft from her. I, I studied. She just said, "I said, what do you need me to do when I do these things, stuff like this?" Right. And my son earned it, and nobody had no problem with it. But I will say this: there we we got some kids. One of a couple of y'all know very well right now. I'm not gonna even say the name. If y'all figure it out, you figure it out. If y'all see me in public, if you think you're saying something, that's I'm saying something crazy. <laughs> and if you think you're gonna run up on me and say something crazy, that ain't happening. Mm. So I'm just let me make that clear. Are you talking about basketball, football? I'm playing basketball. Oh, okay. No, because what I'm about to say, I'm I'm, I'm giving flowers, mm. but. People might try to think that I'm I'm trying to be funny, but this is what we go back to what y'all was saying. We tried, we we know we needed some more guards. This is when we was kind of like digressing. My son, team takeover was after my son. Okay. I elected to stay. Team takeover was after my son from July of that year to February of the following year. Mm -hmm. And they would just talk to me twice a week. I was ready to leave. To take him, I knew my son needed. He was so advanced up here, mm -hmm. but his game wasn't caught up with him. But he was trending that when they saw it, and coach knew it. But because she was loyal to me, I was loyal to her. But one of the, the parents, we, we one of the guys that I guess she saw him somewhere and was like, he was good. Mm -hmm. She said, no, she didn't like him. But we was like, no, coach, you can do something with this kid. The parent was in the way and wouldn't let the kid do what he needed to do. If you take the parent away, we I think we could have actually groomed mm -hmm. the kid what we needed to do. But because he interacted and kind of wanted to kind of have his hands on it to make sure that we knew what was best for his kid, we wasn't able to do that. Okay. He didn't get good until once he got into high school much later on, and now he's doing very well. But back then, you know, like I tell, I'm telling you, a lot of these kids going to stop growing. A lot of these kids going to stop using interest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so at that point, you just need to just stay out the way and just let the coaches be coaches, like you said, and parents be the parents. But so many daddies want to have their hands in it. Because they want them to relive. Right, life. right. They want to relive. And I'm just like, dude, you, you can't just trust me on this. But see, what they was getting to was thinking that I was putting in the input saying, no, I'm cutting for you. I'm looking out for you. Mm -hmm. Don't listen. And you know how Coach Atkins, Coach Atkins can get messy sometimes. Yeah, yeah. And some, and, and as much as I love her, but she can say, instead of her taking the blame, say, I did it, I'm going to put it on Coach. See, and, Jean, and I, and I, and I didn't like that Jean, She put a lot on Jean, her assistant. And Jean used to eat all of it for her. She used to put a lot on Jean. Right. Jean ate a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? So I, I just, for me, I, I just, that, that's where I stepped back. Because I said, you know what? I, I need you to see this. You know, it's to the point where you're trying to, you know, about to throw blows and stuff between us. <clears> that, 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 I didn't want that yeah. stuff. But, but I just had to let that, you know, because I know they can probably see this. For sure. And, and you know, don't want that. But, you know, but. Not just off topic, but that's just what happens. But you know, but yeah, man, it, it it's you know when you got a bigger picture, man, things don't always go as it, it don't. You it's like a bump in the road, right? You know what I'm saying so. That was just something that you know, two parties that needed to talk, get that joint mm -hmm. hitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, like it don't need to go no further than that. Yeah, I always think that things can be solved with clear communication between those parties. For sure. But when you got a, a, a blockage here and you just want to believe what you want to believe, mm -hmm. then you're not going to be open to receive no matter what you see, unless it's something that, unless we're telling you exactly what you want to hear. Mm -hmm. And you know with Gene, that ain't happening. No, for sure. For that, sure. That's, just, that's just not the way it's going to be. For sure. I mean, she reached that pinnacle, though. You know what I mean? She, she, she worked her butt off. She mm -hmm. has worked her butt off, and I mean, she 
I, I mean, I don't know if she feel entitled. I don't know. I don't know how she feel, but I know she's a heck of a coach. Mm -hmm. I do know that. Down, heck, down. Of a, heck of a person. Hall of Famer. And yeah. got some talented ass dogs. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> That's what I do know. Yeah, she. And I know she loved the hell out of Natasha Stocks, and I know we started off sure. talking about Stocks. For sure, um, for sure. For sure. She, she I, did her thing. I watched her. Yeah. I watched her coach Natasha. We all watched yeah. her coach Natasha. And um, she put her bid in with Tasha. She did. She did. She had no cut with her. She did. I was there I mean, for all. Yeah, yeah. She she, she, she no let, laid in her ass when yeah, she supposed yeah. to, and, and she let her have fun when she supposed to. And mm -hmm. um, and, and like Tasha reached the benefit. She reached the benefit for that. You know what I'm saying? And Coach do too. Mm -hmm. They both they both winning. Mm -hmm. They both winning. They ain't, they ain't losing. Yeah, she had some. Lose. She had some dogs come right before Tasha. Right before that. Kim, right yeah. before that. Kim, Chi -Chi, Kim Brown. Kim Brown yeah. Yeah. Kim Brown. Yeah. Chi -Chi. Bro, we know all. Yeah. She had all. Yeah. You know. You know. We know. Yeah. Them, she had some. So it was like just leading the way. You know. Like like I said, love Natasha. That that's my little cousin. Like you know. People don't understand. She's different. When we say Pan Camp, we we represent Pan. Camp. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm I'm part of the the drunk tank. You know what I'm saying? And I wasn't even drinking. I was just playing. I was performing for the drunk. Yeah, I was dipping mm -hmm. off that hostage though. You know what I'm saying? There. I was <laughs> I was the dude performing for the drunk team. Make sure mm -hmm. them guys, you know what I'm saying, had something to talk about when they go home or they right. you know, while they was outside, they was we was outside. We outside. We had pad camp. We made that joint legendary. Yeah. That's 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 what was going on, and I used to see Jean every weekend out there. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I yeah, she she stayed out there. Yeah, yeah. she had to do a ride down the street from Fair Circle. You know what I'm saying? Right, John Marshall, right. My, my AAU trials. I'm always at John Marshall, Henderson. I'm still to this day around that area at six thirty. You know what I'm saying? Every day. Man, <clears throat> listen. You, you, like I said, look, we went off topic. Yeah. No, you don't, we, no, but, but it was Way good, 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 no, it was good, but, but it was good stuff, though, because, you know, we, we got about 10, 15 minutes or so. Ray, you know, I'm going to get you out here because, you know, I got, I got some stuff I got to do, too. Sorry, yeah. But no, 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 you good. Bad, no, Ray, good. Yeah, no, 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 we good, we good, we good. But, and shout out to all the people that we talked about and all the stuff like that. It's all good. But, um, we, going back, I wanted to kind of, I want to touch on some other stuff, but I know you was talking about like West Virginia because we can get into that. We got to do a part two with this. Oh yeah, we do a part I, two. I was just yeah. gonna say it's got to be a part two. We we, we got we got to yeah, because yeah, there's yeah, so much yeah. stuff that we still gotta go into. I don't even yeah. want to bring the West Virginia up to the part two. Okay, we'll do that. Uh, okay, no, that's you know what? Lot, and, and, I mean, I, and, I'm, and I'm thinking because we're because it's gonna die over. That's a whole nother right. I'm saying, and then and get to that stuff because this going because matter of fact we're gonna we're gonna shoot that like soon. Yeah, we gonna do that. West Virginia tried to pay me out to be the black sheep. I'm gonna be honest. Be honest. Yeah, okay, See, we'll give it to Why would you even start getting into it? Because he, <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 be honest. Yeah, yeah, he give it to him when they want. I'm gonna yeah. be 100 before you know, it even, before before it even it, come it, out. And, you know what I'm saying? Like, and, you know, they, they painted me out to be this and that, and I was the worst of this. I was cheating on games, but they forgot I hit two game winners. No, it was and just, who was coaching then with you? Gail Catlin. Yeah, he left after the freshman year. But see what it I was. I don't even know the coach. I didn't even know the coach. Yeah, but what it was. And he was a head coach. I don't even know. I didn't, know. Even, uh, I didn't even know. He won number 23. He was the shooter. He was supposed to be the man. Then Jonathan came. They put all his praise on him. His mom started doing the investigate, but we will get into oh, that. Yeah, 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 talking about Josh Yeager. Josh Yeager. We'll we get into that. Oh, yeah, I'm going to tell you that. We'll man, we get into that. I'm going to tell you, man. Because Sally was there. Was, was mm -hmm. Sally came with me. Sally came with me. Sally wind up doing his thing senior year. Yeah. Elite eight. I don't know if went to the final four. No, I'll never forget she freshman year. Sally said. We should have won it all if I, if I was there. We would have won it all. Because they ain't the one that world. We would have lost that elite eight. game. Yeah. To no boys. <laughs> wow. Hey, you remember, you, hey, you remember Sally said. That we, 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 hold on. <laughs> no. she, yeah, you know, you. Sally said, uh, hey, John, we, me, you, and him were sitting there playing the game. He was like, hey, man, Coach Ayo keep putting me on the bench for no uh, Josh Yeager. <laughs> he said, he said, he said, yeah, yeah he, said, he said, man, you he was high, he was teasing. He said, he said, man, I could have went to UConn, set the bench behind Karan Butler. Yeah, to come to his. Hey, yo, when we get into, I'm telling you, it, 
Man, we have some funny stories. We, 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 okay, because we, we got we to <laughs> shoot this soon, and I'm, I'm hopefully Marcus will be here yeah. for that part. We're going to shoot this like in the next couple of weeks. He said, so John, we hey, I go to sit the back. Because we want, we want to, I want this stuff to be fresh. Yeah. So that way we can get it and get it out, and it's like, boom. So what I'm going to do, I'm going I'm to switch it, because what I'm going to do, I'm going to put you on something. And, and Jelly, you can answer it too, but I'm going to put them on a I'm going to talk about some of these local players, boys and girls, mostly the, the, the young ladies, because we talked about them, um, and and get your opinion on what you think. Because I asked, because I had Nala and Savannah here a couple of weeks ago. Um, their podcast will come out, um, I don't know, well, I'm saying this, it'll be out by the time people see this. Mm -hmm. But um, Nala and Savannah, you already gave it that. Have you seen Lainey Grant? The white girl that was with is that James River. It uh, was at Mondo's I camp. I didn't. I seen I a did. couple highlights. I ain't seen, <laughs> I ain't seen it in person. Okay. Okay. I seen it person. What what, what, what you take about Laney from what you've seen on film, both of y'all? I seen her at the camp, so I, I, yeah, you saw her at the camp, which yeah, she was playing with John, Caleb Love, yeah, John, and all, all, all the of the toughest guys. Yeah, <laughs> like, yo, yo, I, the toughest guys. Hey, King, I love you to death. She did get you with a. And late, and you know, I said, yo, she, she can play. Yeah, she tough. She, she tough. tough. She she tough. She, she tough. Like, she, if, if she gets with the right, she's already good. The right, she, the UNC, right. see she commit to USC. Already, yeah, but I'm just saying the right coach that's gonna push her. I want because she could just play if right now. How they gonna come back and how they gonna work that out? Daisy Kelly. Kelly, yeah. That now, that's that's a good question. I want to see how they. I, I I recommend Dage come back because they top five with them two. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it's it's kind of hard to put them at top five without one of the two. Mm -hmm. But them, they the best two guards with LSU coming back. Mm -hmm. And the best two guards in mm. college. Yo, um, yo, mm. Shorty girl name from LSU that had the floater gang on 45. 45. Um, yeah, I know. Lord, I know she gone. Hey, that's she really, saying. hey, she tough. That's why, that's why people, I say people, that. People, it, it, it's all. And, that's you know, I after, it. yeah, after reading her story, how she got kicked out, left school, went to this, 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 and then you came back. that story, nobody, too. And then, and yo, uh, she had them people in her hip pocket the whole fourth at, quarter. Look at the joint where, like, when she waiting on Caitlin Clark coming out of the Yeah, she, you know come here. Yeah, like. like yeah, she different. She yeah, different. she different. Yeah. And we'll go back to that. The respects that she yeah. gives and how she give it. And, yeah. You know, you only get what you give. Mm -hmm. But shout out to the two cousins, though. For sure. Angela Reese and um, um, Hawkins. Hawkins. Yeah. Yeah. Both from Baltimore. Yeah. Back to back them things. That's, like, right. that's tough. That was, that was tough. That was tough. What, what y'all think about Caitlyn? <laughs> what we just tough. We, tough. But look, so this was the question. Tough. We, Puka, shout out Puka for asking this question. And we probably gonna get up out here after this. But look, no, check no, this no, out. I'm gonna go back up and ask if we're gonna come. Girl, Man, down to Tarasi. Diana Tarasi. I'm gonna say Caitlin Clark, because I have seen Diana did it for four years. Yeah, but Tarasi in person. Thank you. And she ain't did it like Caitlyn. She has. See, I never listen, seen her play. I never seen her. She has not. Caitlyn different. Put it down like Caitlyn. But Caitlin. she did it for four years. When you think about it, uh, uh, at but, Owl. No, I'm talking see, about Diana. See, that, see, that, see, that, see, that's what I was saying. At Owl. See, that's yeah. what I was saying. She's that's, the best player out. She's from that, Owl. That's she's what I was telling you before you got here. That's what I'm saying. See, I was saying that, she's the best player out. She's from Owl, so she's the best player. Best player in college basketball. Took on my water. And along since Cheryl, Cheryl Swoops, she been in Shamika right. Hoslow now. Now, now up there, she's 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 up there with Candace and Shamika. If you put yeah. if you put yeah. she, if you give Caitlyn Clark Kessler. the same talent that that Tarasi had, right. she has we ask, ring. We act yet. Yeah, me and you talked that about girl it. Went and that, lost that's two different. Games yeah. in college. There you go. See, that's the she part. She went and lost two games in college. That girl took a mediocre ass team. That team is a fucking ain't, ain't too many people team. doing that. That's a little league ass team she got. Ain't, ain't too many people doing that. Yeah. We we seen Angel Reese before. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. We seen her before. The only space but you gonna compare you gonna all you gonna compare her to Diana Taurasi? Why all not? That, the pick and roll. Diana Taurasi did it for not? four years. Right, and then went to the league and did it. Sue Bird. Right. Well, hold on, we Swing, said that and Swing Super, Cash. And Swing Cash. We said that. Right. And she had a smoke cast. And then, and then we seen Tarasi when, when she, she haven't had the talent around her. Yeah. When she haven't had a talent. 
Yeah, she was mediocre. Well, she hey, wasn't hey, mediocre. I'm just saying. Oh, she I'm still got her numbers. She still got her numbers. You give Caitlin Clark hey. any of them girls that's on that level. I'm just saying. That girl. You, matter of fact, you give so her, you take you, you take Caitlin Clark over Maya Moore. I just take her. I take her passion. I take how she move. How she how she move without the. So ball. if you got the number one pick right now, you taking Diana Taurasi, Maya Moore, or Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark. Ooh, ooh. I gotta go with Maya. Ah. I'm taking Caitlin Clark. Just because how she move with her. Because she happen. plays like you, first. She, don't <laughs> right, 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 right. she shoots the ball, I'm, bro, I'm, 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 from the logo. I'm, like, I, I know yeah. why you saying I'm, I'm, that. I'm take, I'm take yeah, I understand right, why right. he's saying that. Right. I understand. Yeah, right. she, 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 White I or black? Oh, man, poor Yo, yeah. Right, that right, don't, right, you know, right, that don't mean right, nothing right, else. Right. I'm just telling right. you, she plays like you. To have somebody on your hip and get a slight push off from behind your back and pull up from the logo. Quick release. Ball gone. She different, man. Yes, she is. You give her two of them girls from LSU, you tell me they win that game. Man, they probably win three in a row. Hands down. I'm going with Kendall Lock. Hands down. She different, man. Yeah, she is. 40, 40, 40, 40. She different. Caitlin Clark. She she, she, she different. Hands down, bro. There's There's no other girl that has done what she's done. Not with, the, not, not with those numbers. <laughs> not with those numbers. Those, nah, not with those numbers, yeah. It, 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 generational talent, talent, man. She is. And you oh, know what? Ten, Shout out ten, to Callum, ten, um, the coach from LSU. She told her in the handshake. She said, you're a generational talent. Nah, for sure. Straight up. Like you, and that's why you I know. like her. I like her as a coach. Yeah. That's why I like Margaret. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, like I didn't even know that uh, Caitlin could come back. Yeah, cause she's she not draft numbers. eligible. I said, yeah, people yeah, at college got to deal with her for another year. And and that's the thing, and that's why. Nah. I think, but see, but I tell you, I said people to me was taking it out on Kaylin because they was mad because Caitlin them beat South Carolina. Be mad at Don Staley because Don Staley ain't make no damn adjustment. adjustment. Yeah. 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 Why you didn't? You. Why, why you didn't run a one three one? I, I, I keep you. telling you. Why you Don didn't run? Don, 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 Don Staley yeah. lost a one, that game. A one three one. And, and Black America, you put this in the Black Record. community. One, three, and one. jump on Don yeah. because John lost to them the white girls. That's minute. exactly what that the was about. Hey, look, I love That's Don. exactly what that was about. Be mad at Don. Don did not make them adjustments at all. I love Don Kayla Clark going was taking them, one. had them girls on her hip and the taking them every game. single time. That's that's what when I'm Kim Monkey made said. them adjustments, yeah. they were switching she made, everything. And look, you know what? And you know, straight straight she was like this on her. Thank you. They were switching everything. She was switching and putting her hands on They don't want to talk to me because they want to say, well, you try to take it for the white. No, I'm talking about basketball. We ain't talking about They were switching everything. That's what her, she. Everything. That's what everybody. And Kayla Clark couldn't even get in the hole. That's what I'm saying. She couldn't get in there. This is why everybody had a problem. Because everybody want to make it. You want white to talk on black, black, basketball? Come here and talk to me. Because I ain't going to sit up here blaming oh, Andrew. That ain't got nothing no. to do with that. Don Man, Staley, Mar- them. They, you South Carolina Mar- should have did the hour the same way that's, that's LSU what I'm did. Everybody want to talk about. Did, today. Today, no, I, I see it. it. I watched it. He, he got Reese on there. But I'm just saying, my thing is, you got. Peep that joke. Everybody want to make it black and white. It's not. That's it. It's about getting out coached and not making an adjustment. Because she didn't. No adjustments. Uh, Kelly Monk made the adjustment. Right, they, we, you know we, we take it somewhere. Yeah. And, and, and white, people, do with white that. America, but they take it somewhere. They take it somewhere. Yeah. But it's, it's not even basketball. It's, basketball. it's basketball. It's just basketball. It's just basketball. Because I guarantee you, said, if Don had made them adjustments, yeah. South Carolina would have ran it up because when they asked her, right. she said, she said, well, what are we going to do? It was in the fourth quarter. She was like, I don't know. She said, "I'm." Out. She said, we'll be all right. We'll be all right. You didn't make no adjustments. South Carolina was in trouble when... Don did an interview before the game. Yep. And she oh, said, we exactly. got our own. We got our own joke. We got our own. And let's make it an all SEC championship. All SEC championship. That, that right then and there? Just, yeah, she was too cocky. Too yeah. I said, okay. I but, said, okay. But, she, but like man. like Caitlin Clark said, we're not going to play them the same way we play South Carolina. We just going to th- – Kelly Morgan said, South Carolina didn't shoot the ball. We're going to shoot the ball. We're going to shoot the ball. And they shot the and they ball. Shot the ball. You know what, what I'm saying? What and they just happen to be hitting that. That's night. what it boiled down to. If you got any love for your conference and you see your fellow conference make go down, what you gonna do? You gonna hold yeah, them yeah. down, right? Uh, yeah, you gonna hold it down. So yeah. Andrew Reese, Reese said, South Carolina, my dog. Yeah, that's what she said too. Like, yeah. like how she said, I ain't like the disrespect. Because she did you know it. What I'm saying? She did it the week before. Right, right. She said, you know she said she was that. She's throwing right. it up and all that. You know what I'm saying? And, but what we don't got to Andrew. That don't got to LSU. Will we be having this conversation if you played at Michigan right now and I played at Maryland and you did it to me? 
But then Lee knock you no, off. Be no, it See, we hold women to a different standard, because, bro. Because because it's man. Yeah, exactly. Right. When, when, and that, that, let let them play, bro. It wasn't like she said, she said, I grew up in Baltimore where we play basketball on the streets you know and talk trash. I have no problem with that. Yeah, no why, problem with it whatsoever. I love what Andrew Reese said. Yeah. I had no problem I with it. I love that. where she going with it. Yeah. I had no problem. I had no problem with that. Now, was it a little bit extra because she was following I thought when she followed, around? yeah, I, now, I did. You know, think, I mean, I mean, I mean, her, I, mean I was like, ah. The reason why I, mean, I say no is because all year she's been the villain. Right, right. They've been putting her as the and, villain. And I, and I, and I don't like the, and I don't like the media bad. doing, I didn't like that's the media doing that. Because she's from Baltimore. Wow. Media, 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 media would flip your script. I mean, if that you was, a good person, I said, was it, they would try to make you a bad person. Was, was it a little bit, for me, was it a little bit extra? Do I have a problem with it? No. Was it a little bit extra because that's what Angel does and stuff like that? Okay, cool. All right, because that wasn't trash talk at that point. She was taunting her. Yeah, no, nah, but the media would flip. But the media, flip, but the media flip flipped flipped that. The media flip that. flip that. Because who you are. I ain't say one word. They ain't complaining nothing about it. What so yeah, when she did that to her, nobody nobody from our when she did this to Louisville, nothing. anybody had nothing. Anybody, say. anybody say nothing. Yeah. The girl is just she's a feelings type of person. Yeah. She right. Plays and she on plays. She plays on her. And she and she and she wear it on her sleeve. And she let everybody know who where she from. Yeah. So like I said, I like I said, I had no problem with it. I just didn't want to become a race issue because it wasn't race. So, but yeah, y'all, mm -hmm. it is two oh four, two hours and four minutes, and we 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 covered a whole lot of stuff. And I know we definitely gonna shoot Trust this part two. Pa y'all definitely. Get, we gonna hey, do like this gonna be soon. See part two. <laughs> And and maybe this was the whole setup for this, and I was like, ain't no way we gonna really get all of this in two nah, hours. Nah, ain't no way. You Might know, be three episodes. I'm just Marcus. <laughs> man, where you at, boy? We need no, Lewis. Uh, come on, man. Marcus, we purposely kind of let this A shooting you know, God. Where you at? Boy? Yeah, we, we gotta we kind of <laughs> left this like here, so we 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 gonna do this. So we wait for you. You gotta be here. So you know, spring break this week and everything like that. So I think I know he. I think he'll be leaving a couple of days. I think today, tomorrow, or something like that. Oh no! But I got a game this weekend. Jay Sergeant Reynolds, shout out nine o'clock in the morning. Go see my ball to Come on, man. By the time y'all see football, football man. <laughs> by the time y'all see out, this, y'all gonna just, it'll be all right. Come support. So, so kids need it. But uh, make sure that y'all like, subscribe. Uh, like I told you earlier, I Get need that, thumb. that love, Get man. That we thumb. need them thumbs up, man. Just appreciate it. All the thumbs. Y'all, man, look, this was beautiful, man. We covered. So, look, we went off the script and was talking about this. But I like when, when I get guys of your level that came in here oh, to kind of pick your brain. It's a blessing. You know, I like to get that, and like I said, Jelly just be driving that thing. You be driving <laughs> that thing too, man. You be oh, slick too. You be, you be slick. The 18, we had the 18 hole, right? Man. You know what I'm saying? Green. But I, but, sure. but I, I love that, man. I just appreciate you coming through. We're gonna make sure that we do this in a couple of weeks. I'm gonna have some more joy juice in here. Um, yeah, my <laughs> shout out, on. shout out to Kendra for that. You know, always be coming through. Um, but like I said, we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up, man. Anybody any more final words, any more shout outs before y'all wanna give? Jelly. I'm just shout out Lee, uh Ball and VA, shout out Hoggett. Um and man, y'all need to just support, hit the like and subscribe button, man. You know, let's get these thumbs up. Hey, also sad is Jay Sarge running the <laughs> This man is so Come on, so man. Come on, man. Hey, if you got any eight year old kid, you got any eight year old kids that want to play some football, come holler at me. Shout, hey. out, shout out to Lee, man. Shout out to all the kids that's striving and, 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 and pushing for greatness, man. I'm, I'm, I'm here for you if you need me. Um, let's just continue to push the mark in, and let's just go. Let's go. I don't even know what to say. They didn't. They didn't got on me about everything. They got me about taking the shoes off. They got on me oh, yeah. about everything. Hey, please get a shot of that, though, because I couldn't. You off. got to get a shot of that, man. I'm comfortable, man. No more Roger Nanny man. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm just listen, man. I, I'm just 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 having fun, man. This is a beautiful thing. I'm just. We've been trying. Look, we've been trying to get this thing done since October of 2022. So this this is why. You know, but um, like I said, for Jelly, from John, man, for myself, my production guy, Ray, we out, y'all. Hey, Ray, hey, shout out Ray, man. Hey, Ray, let us go over a little time. He, been, he ain't said too much. He ain't get us tight. Hey, I, I like Ray. Ray. Ray get you when you come in, so you got to pay right. attention to Ray. Right. You got to pay attention to Ray. Ray, Ray a little sneaky. You on his ish, y'all. Yeah, you yeah. yeah. on his You on his ish. See, I want to do this. But yeah. see, y'all, you can make me do this, right? They came, uh, what Dr. Dre said, when he told Nas, man, 
they can't do it the way I do it. Yes. I try to make people come on here because it's about you guys, and I want big people to feel comfortable. Have the marquee. I want to have some drinks. If y'all going to drive all the way out here, now near the Power Tan, right. I'm going to at least make sure that y'all got some drinks. Power Tan is right down the Hold on, we at Power Tan? No, Power Tan is right across the road. I told you Power Tan is about um, 30 seconds down the road. <laughs> I mean, hey, yeah, in this cut, cut, we got to go. Power don't, 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 don't. <laughs> Hey, don't do that. <laughs> I ain't always just fall here. I really didn't. <laughs> Look, shout out to everybody. Thank y'all for watching. And we out, yo. Bye. <laughs>